Hello! We're back! It's time for more Kurohyo. And I've made the brave decision to not to not farm things off stream this time. And I'm Moth. Hello, hello. Hope you're doing well. Um Cause yeah, last time, uh, before last time, I did you know, I did some money farming. I I probably should do, still do some money farming when I find the time. Uh, but last time especially, I was like leveling up every skill I had available, every style rather, that I had available to me at the time, wrong button. Um, and as a result, I kind of ended up losing out on a lot of potential XP. Uh, I'm doing good also. I'm glad you're doing well. Uh, it's, it's been fine. It's been a largely uneventful day, I suppose. Just trying to think of what I want to do with video stuff, but also, uh, just the usual. And I'm, I've been getting roped back into playing Monster Hunter Rise again, apparently. Um, which is good. But, uh, but yeah, it's been good. It's been good. But, yeah, last time I, um, the stuff I did for last time was go to the not arena, the ranking thing here in town. Uh, and that is really good for XP. But I'm fairly sure that is, like, one-off. You know, like, you fight an, your next opponent in the arena and... You get the rewards from them, but only once, including a big chunk of XP. But what that resulted in is we were going through the story with all of the fighting styles I had available at the time maxed out. And the story fights actually give you a shit ton of XP, which just kind of got launched into the void um, and wasn't used to level up any style. So I'm thinking probably the most efficient way to go about it is to go through much more of the story. Uh, ideally, always have a style that, that needs XP as I'm going through the story. We have a bunch now. We have Military Kempo, Kung Fu, and Karate that all need levels. Those are our, our three for now. Um, but yeah, I, I decided against power leveling them with the arena. Because then, once we get towards the end and we're working on the extreme styles, the, the really end game stuff, then I can go to the arena and get the XP from there when I don't have as much story stuff to get the XP from anymore. That's the plan, I think. But money, money I still definitely want. What style do I actually have equipped? I have Kung Fu on. That's fine. Um, yeah, kicking power, good at dodging, good at countering. Cool. Um, but yes, yes. Uh, def definitely still need to farm money. Because we, um, we have all the, the, the stat leveling at the dojo, which we're going to start with today, I think. Because I have, I have some money. I'll, yeah, I'll get into fights. We still want random fights. Yeah, we've got guys with Baji Kwan now. But yeah, yeah. Farming, but sensible farming. Not like, not the, not the kind of farming that leads to, uh, you know, the, to all the world's rainforests disappearing, you know? Sensible farming, renewable farming. You know, I don't want to, I don't want to get to the end game and have these insano advanced styles that need leveling, and have no means of actually leveling them. You know, that's what I want to avoid. Yeah, no deforestation, renewable green farming. There you go the turbo button is still working. Let's go. I've, I've got it down to a reflex now. It's on my my R2. Because the grabs in this game are unfair. Ooh, we're one fight away from a level. Let's go. But yeah, we're getting reasonable XP, both main level and style level wise, uh, from just regular fights. So I'm I'm happy to get into those. But yes, where we were at in the story is uh mysteries are certainly happening. Um we went and talked to the florist last time to try and find out if the guy that we supposedly killed is actually dead. I'm I'm banking on him not being dead at this point. Oh god, it's one of these. Might still fail this. We'll see. Even with turbo. Unless Unless I win it. Let's go. That's like the second one of those I've even won. <laughs> yeah, gotta remember the controls, goddamn. But uh, yeah, figuring out that mystery. Um as we're ra because uh, I guess plot summary. Uh our boy accidentally murdered a guy, our boy Tetsuya accidentally murdered a guy who belonged to a a, a Yakuza family. Uh, so we got roped into fighting in this underground underground arena to make up for it, and we've got to win 10 matches in a row. But apparently, 
uh, it's Dragon Heat, the arena. Apparently, Dragon Heat is really important within the Tojo clan um, because it, it is a big money maker. So if you're winning consecutive fights or a representative fighter is winning consecutive fights, then it's going to bring in a huge amount of money for, for that family and it's going to cause a power imbalance. So we're being targeted more and more as we win more fights in a row. Brain, hey, braining, I, I know how it feels. I've been there. I'd be there on the regular. But um, yeah, it's kind of like that stuff is going on and Tatsuya is invested in it personally because, you know, he's doing this against his will. He's kind of being blackmailed and held hostage into into fighting for for the Kuki family. But he, do, he, he I feel like the story is more about his own personal journey because he's just a young punk who dropped out of school and he just fights for the sake of fighting or at least he has up till now and he's had no like fighting style of his own up till now but it's kind of like he runs into all these people that he is fighting in dragon heat and kind of learning things from them and becoming more of a person gaining his own personal fighting philosophy and stuff like that and that's pretty compelling but it's nice we've got a good fusion of you know the kind of yak as a story crime drama that we're used to but also the more like tournament e battle manga e you know like shonen battle manga type story and i like it it's an interesting direction for the spinoff to take and yeah we need to buy a newspaper yes because i supposedly the body of the guy we killed has been found even though we saw him seemingly alive uh in the place where we killed him after after that you know a while after a while after we had supposedly killed him but it may maybe is being covered up now, and we might be more wanted by the police. Oh, you remember who my voice reminds you of? Oh, do tell, do tell. I've been curious about that. Yeah, this guy will... Oh, right, we got a new cat map from him. And yeah, I got my 10% discount, because I got 50 cats, which is almost half of the cats, because it's 101. But yeah, training is cheaper now, which is good, because I wanted to do some training. Dan TDM, I've heard of them before i don't know if i've watched any of their stuff or whatever their deal is i don't know but definitely heard the name i'll, I'll look into it i'll look into it and see what i think but thank you uh yes we're, we've got a decent amount of money now although it's like 20 000, 20 yeah 20k yen for a lot of our upgrades right now uh so this, see this is why i need to go money farming i need to um go make more ice cream but yeah, let's go. Just try and get everything up to up to the same level, I guess. So we'll get it at least one level in everything to get it up to all well, these three to get them up to fourteen, and work from there. It is it is spancy. It is real spancy. So much money. It is. I mean, by Yakuza standards, it's not that much. It makes sense since uh, Tatsuya is a lot younger and he doesn't. You know, he, he doesn't have the monetary means of any of the protagonists we've played as so far, as a much younger guy. But we can make money. Uh, making ice cream is our best option right now. It's the... Uh, yeah, you, you can take a lot of part-time job minigames in this game, and they're pretty okay for money. Uh, some of them are harder to... Cause it, like, uh, the amount of money you make from each job is proportionate to how well you do in the mini game, so, uh, and you know the the ice cream mini game is the easiest one. Games where you just work, yeah, yeah. I like the uh, I like the struggle. I appreciate it. Uh, it was it was a lot more rough earlier into the game because the the uh, the mini games the part time jobs aren't unlocked from the start, and then the game also throws a a money gate at you like you have to have 10,000 yen uh to get into a club at one point and the game doesn't give you any warning and the only way you can make money at that point is getting into random street fights but the way the game works is you constantly need to be spending money too because on top of there being a health system like a standard yakuza game there's also an injury system uh, which applies to different parts of the body and you will be worse in fights the more you get injured. There's like various different effects to various different body parts being injured. Um, 
So you need to go to not not just drink energy drinks to heal. You need to also get your injuries fixed occasionally. And there are healing items for that, but the most consistent way to fix them is to go to an actual like clinic. Uh, and that costs like 5,000 yen per, which is a lot of money at that point in the game. So I was just kind of barely staying afloat. And then they hit me with the, the need for 10,000 yen. But yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot going on. The um, the devs who made this are the people who made the Def Jam games, the classic Def Jams. Uh, I've not played any of those, so I can't really make any strong comparisons gameplay wise. I'm going to yeah, I'm going to save the rest for now. Well, actually, we're at 51, so we only need 50 more cats to max out. That's good. Um, but yeah, a lot of the systems are, have come over from those games instead of this being built from scratch or something like that so a lot of the move sets are straight out out of def jam i was even looking at the wiki um and just looking at the various fighting styles and it said like uh you know this this fighting style is basically just you know this character's moves from def jam so you would see insane shit like oh the heat move for this style is this move from snoop dogg's move set from def jam fight for new york um just kind of crazy Honestly, but pretty cool that we we went from Def Jam to to this. But the combat's really good, and the all the different fighting styles are very distinct. Like they have completely different move sets. You have to level them up, uh, and they fuse together when you uh, when you hit certain thresholds and you combine your various styles to get stronger ones. And eventually, it, it, I, I think I made the comparison before. It's like crafting accessories in Terraria where you have many different effects taking up slots, but you combine them all together to get all of those effects consolidated. This is like that. You can only have one style equipped at a time, but you will get combined styles that kind of take features from other styles, or just sometimes completely different. But the endgame ones are like you know, extreme arm, extreme leg, extreme body, extreme tenacity, stuff like that, that are more, more insane and have less levels in them but uh but you know they're end game stuff and then you have to max all those out and you get extreme being which just gives you infinite stamina and stuff like that oh it's you again with the trading card yeah i don't care i'm just here to grab a cat i'm getting my cats yeah we've got that new map with which to collect cats and there we go and i think we have a few more sub stories like over here is a new one, I think. Hello, what's going on here? Um, excuse me. The hell are you? You want something? Just give me a moment. Okay, deep breath. Alright. Who the fuck said you could walk around here, huh? Oh, it's a punk in training. How cute. Huh? He looks like a normal student. Why the hell is he trying to pick a fight with me? What the hell? Yeah, just gotta play the part. I have nothing against you. I'm sorry. Hmm? I'll blow you away. What is this? Some kind of like hazing or initiation thing? Level 5. Street fighting level 1. Well, at least he's got a, a fighting style. That's something. Accurate voice acting. I tried to. I tried to. I gotta bring out more of the goofy voices. Oh, God. But, you know. Uh, in Yakuza in general, but especially in this, uh, there's a lot of non-voice acted material. So I've got to voice everything. I try to do my best. <laughs> he lost, as expected. Hmm. Hmm? Who the hell was that guy? Was he watching us? I guess it was a hazing thing. Or just bullying. Uh, uh. Hey, you okay? Yes, I'm sorry. Why'd you start something? Some punks from my high school forced me to try and fight with some random people walking down the street. Mm. Like when the most serious characters are given the dumbest voices. Yeah, I like to. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not a, a voice actor or anything, so I try to try to ham it up a bit. A lot of, especially you know, a lot of the characters that aren't voiced at all are going to be the ones in sub stories, and those are often corny and over the top so it's fun to voice them that way 
They enjoy betting on whether I win or lose. So they were betting on me? That pisses me off. They're off in an alley waiting for me to come back. I don't want to do this anymore. Please help me. What should I do? I guess we're helping out. They've dragged me into their stupid little game. That pisses me the fuck off. Love Tatsuya. He's just angry. Hey, lead me over to him. Leave him. Yeah, I do love... I, I love that you often get the option to just be like, I don't care about this. Which is nice, because if you're in the middle of doing something else, you can just put it off for later. Um, in, I don't think they would do it in this game, but in 3 and 4, there are opportunities to not, not quite fail sub-stories, but kind of not get the best result. So I would be anxious and always look at guides for those games. But this game isn't like that. It's very straightforward and you can't screw up with the, the sub-stories too much. Which is a nice break, honestly. Sure. Alright, let's see. Here they are. What a goddamn idiot. He went and challenged some strong guy. You lost the bet, Yoichi. Next time, I'll definitely have to try and get him to fight someone weaker. I think he's back. Huh? Uh, who's that? I heard you guys were trying to mess with me, huh? You really do have some balls, then. Shit. Fuck it, let's get him. Yeah, we'll see. Oh, these guys are a bit stronger. I mean, I'm level 21 now. And they're level levels 11 and 12, so... I guess I'll appreciate the XP they'll give me. Because I, it might not be good XP. Because random street fights, you get more XP per um, per combatant. So I gotta practice my dodges and my my attack catching. There we go. But aggression always pays off in this game. You know, you can just absolutely roast some fighting styles. All right, what do you got? What do you got, eh? But yeah, sub sub story fights are. Are generally a bit different. Hold on, I want to take out this guy first, then we can deal with with Bigman over here. Oh, whiff. There we go. We'll probably get some good money from this at least, but I don't know about XP. Uh, uh, nope, put that down. Oh, you won't put it down. That's it. Break dance on his ass. Hey. Okay. I want to try and catch some attacks. I'm so bad at it, though. It's such a hard input. It's like back and L1. There. Fuck. And you've got to time it right. It's real rough for such a, an awkward input. And I, I, w I was looking at ways to maybe... Oh, God. Okay, let's just dodge instead. I was thinking of ways to maybe... Yeah, there you go. Ways to make it into a macro, but it wouldn't work. Because you can be on the right side as well. You just glide on the floor. Probably. Probably. This is a PSP game, remember? <laughs> so yeah, absolutely jack shit for XP. But decent money and you get an item. So, mm, I'd rather get more XP. Ah, run away! Alright. They're always picking on me. They're the worst. Thank you so much. Please accept this. Rekindle, grab X, heat. God, the item names in this game. They're the three strongest guys at our school. I'm surprised you could beat them so easily. Not surprised. I am surprised. If you have some confidence and learn how to fight, you'd beat them just as easily. I don't have anywhere close to your strength, though. I'll leave you be now. Thank you for your help. What, the, the item name or him being surprised? <laughs> Funny guy. Yeah, this, is, th this game was not released in the West. This is a fan translation. So there are, uh, there are some errors. The item name. I guess we'll find out. But then, yeah, like, the, the item names also vary between that screen and the inventory. Because now it's Rekindle Grahit. I guess maybe they changed their minds on what they wanted it to be called in the patch, but didn't make it consistent. Yeah, increases the power of grab slash heat attacks in battle. Uses odorless garlic. Huh. Yeah, it's weird. Yeah, the item names are like that. Like, Todogan Pills. There's a bunch of different pills that heal only specific injuries in certain areas. It's odd. I need to get more heals, actually. I've got jack shit right now. 
yeah, we should deal with that. Um, yeah, I guess we'll we'll be heading up north. We'll go towards our house. But uh, is that the nearest one? I mean, I mean, we're going that way, so we'll we'll go and get some heals along the way. And I should probably eat somewhere as well to heal up. There we go. But yeah, you like usually in Yakuza. Uh, you save at phone booths, and every phone booth also lets you use the item box. Not so in this game, for some reason. You can only save it... Oh, no, you can you can save it at, at phone still. But you can only access the item box in safe houses, and there's only two in the game spread across, like, the entire map. I mean, maybe we'll get more, but it's kind of it's kind of awkward and uncomfortable and annoying. No, you... I, I, how about I grab you instead? There you go. Like Yakuza, but not... I mean, it is Yakuza. It is a Yakuza game. It's set in Kamurocho. There are some, uh, you know, Yakuza characters in this. Not many. It's largely its own story, but it's still set in Kamurocho. Kind of like the, the Judgment games, for a more recent example. How those are set in Kamurocho, and you occasionally get cameos from main series characters but yeah it's a spin-off spin-off like i i don't know if the story like all the story is also done by the uh the def jam people or if rgg was involved in that but yeah like you can i, I think in one of the mini games i've been told you can spot akiyama buying food and a sub story we did last time had uh, had us following hanachan around Stuff like that. Hmm. Who should I pick? Yo, Shiraishi, this idiot. What are you doing? Oh, Ukyo-chan. Thank you for the other day. She loved that yellowtail daikon. Here, take this if you have a use for it. But yeah, the like the the name of the game is uh, translated anyway. Is like uh, yo know, Kurohyo. It's like like a dragon new chapter is the subtitle. Something like that. Lucky charm. Ooh. So, did it work? Huh? If things went well, I wouldn't be here, would I? I don't get why I was rejected. Because you're a dipshit. And you've got no personality outside of trying to get into your... Your date's hobbies. I thought I'd take my wounded heart down a cabaret club. Are you a fan of cabaret clubs, Ukyo-chan? Ukyo no. I've had to do so much cabaret in these games. Hmm? Well, I guess I do go from time to time. We, we have had to go in the story. Seriously? What are the girls at your regular club like, then? Huh? What do you mean? Oh, no. Is this going to be one where we have to answer questions about the hostesses? There, there were a bunch of these in, in four. I mean, surely you pay attention to the girls when you visit the club. Catch my drift? What are you talking about? Oh, that's right. You got dumped again. I forgot. Shut up! Baseball just wasn't for me. I'm done with sport. From now on, I'm on the lookout all night. In English, they say, on the prowl. That's true. How are you going to do that? I only have enough money to hit up one club. You have to pick the girl right at the start, yeah? Yeah. In this game, anyway. So, I needed to gather up some proper info. What are the girls like at your regular club? Hmm? Well... Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, no. I need to go look at the guide. It's happening again. Oh, fuck. Well, at least I don't have to actually go talk to the girl to get the information like you did in 4. That was the real pain. Uh, let's see. Kirohyo substories. And this will be a chapter 5 one, I believe. Chapter 5 substories. Shoutouts, as ever, to Cyrix Z's guides. Yeah, that's the batting one. I think we're still on chapter 5. Uh, or maybe not, actually. Yeah, there's Hannah's dinner time. Are we on chapter 6? Hmm. Oh, yeah, we are, because of Boys and Bullies is that one we did uh, with the guy getting bullied. Yeah, Ukyo's Cabaret Lesson. Here we are. Uh, okay, 500 XP for recommending any hostess, 100 more XP for each recommendation afterwards for a maximum of 1,000. Uh, Shirishi, long time no see. Uh, yeah, I'll give you the lucky amulet. 
Let's see. Le given a list of cabaret girls that you can meet in the game, the first three options are girls from the club, the final option is to advance to another page of girls. Oh, God. If you press the bottom option in the second page, you're taken to a menu with two choices. Start over to go through the list again, or I don't know, to give up. If you choose that last option, Tatsuya will recommend Eureka from Jewel, uh, Hugo's main squeeze from Chapter 2, since he's the only hostess he knows. If you happen to have any business cards from any of the hostesses, you can recommend those girls, granting you 100 XP per recommendation. Okay. Oh, God. So I, uh, Do I have to get all the business cards to complete this sub-story? I guess I can... Yeah, there's no way to fail this sub-story, so don't feel any uh, need to go broke. Okay, so I think you is the one we've actually talked to that one time. I don't have business card. Wh okay, which one was it then? Ah, there we go. We have Aya, so we can recommend Aya. That's good. So I might have to come back to this one for more XP. Uh, and hi, Galen. Yeah, yeah, it's Yak is a bit Def Jam. Uh, could it described Camarocho from a teenage delinquent's perspective? Yeah, I definitely get that vibe. The, the kinds of fights Tatsuya gets into are very different, and the people he's exposed to are very different. Like, you see that in the fights themselves. Like, the dudes that you're fighting are guys that would never, ever try to pick a fight with Kiryu or any of the other main Yakuza protagonists, but you're just fighting way more jubbery dudes. Uh, so you get, a, you get to... You get exposed to a lot of different stuff. And we've got a lot of stuff going on with the local high schools, which we've never heard about before. There's, like, Camaro East and Camaro West. Which had never been mentioned. I think Tatsuya went to Camaro East. But we've got some drama in the story going on with Camaro West. So seeing stuff like that is neat too. And Tatsuya kind of just has a different personality from Kiryu and the rest. Even though he'll he'll still help people out in sub-stories. He's kind of a dick. But it's cool. And then Judgment is the same but from a detective. So yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah, I has a great personality. It's very easy to talk to. He dresses like a gal. I a chance. Maybe she's able to pull that look off. Do you know any others? Uh, I guess I know about the other girl. Or, wait, which which one is the, the default one? Yeah, Eureka. Is she actually on this list? No, I think that's it. I guess we could recommend Eureka if we had absolutely no one else. But that's all I know. Like, terribly last night? Ah, oh, that sucks. Uh, so it goes, though. Huh? There's still someone you ain't tell me about. Come on, Ukyo-chan. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, actually, I did forget one. Ah, here we go. Eckert's. Oh, yeah, that kind of bad sleep. Not like a uh, didn't sleep for long, didn't get enough sleep, but uh, an actually bad sleep. Bad quality sleep. Uh, that sucks. I hate when that happens. Like, I've, I've had that before... Like, once. I think the last time I had that happen. I could, like, barely move my neck for a day or two. Like, couldn't look to the side. I had to turn my entire body. It sucks. It turned into C-3PO. But yeah, you also have Jules Eureka. She's pretty much perfect inside and out. Eureka-chan. She's that great. I'd love to request her at least once. Good luck with that. I've learned so much. Thank you, Ukyo-chan. No problem. Okay, I better get ready for my cabaret date. See ya. So I wonder if, if I'll be able to tell him the rest at some point. All he thinks about is girls. Well, okay. I got my XP and the sub story's done. That's the most important thing. I, I do not want to do hostess content if I can avoid it. God. Cats, cats, cats. Fights, fights, fights. Hello. Yeah, I probably did mess up your friend. Oh boy, pro wrestling. Also a cat. Yep, yeah, it's just cats everywhere. There's 101 of them for some reason. Oh, one of these. Can I manage it again? Maybe. Oh no, this one's way harder for some reason. Okay. Yep, sometimes you just can't win. That's life. That's, that's, oh god. That's the moral of a really good Star Trek TNG episode. It's possible to make no mistakes and still lose. Come on, I want to catch an attack. Well, of a god. Or I could just dodge. But I want to catch one. Not had practice. There we go. There, you can kind of have... It's like a pseudo parry. You can catch catch enemy attacks. Fuck. I'm bad at it, though, because it's a weird input. Oh, 
God damn it. Like, he leaves me just enough time where I think about uh, going for a grab or something. There we go. Oh, dodge too early. No! Getting your ass kicked. Kinda. Yeah, my health's pretty low. Yeah, I need to eat and heal after this. Oh, nice. Didn't mean to do that. But whatever. Yes, yeah, game. We're playing on hard difficulty anyway, because that's that's how I do. But it's a pretty tough game anyway, and plays extremely differently to any other any mainline Yakuza game. Okay, I might have to use one of my heals. My few heals. I need to sort up my inventory. Oh, the lucky charm. Oh, that's the one that improves every stat. Oh shit! Thanks, Shuri. She holy hell. Yeah, items also work differently. You don't equip gear in this. You just have it. It takes up an inventory slot and you get the benefit. There we go. Yeah, I know I, I know about the basic styles, but Kung Fu has a bonus to both catching and dodging, which is why I'm I'm kind of getting stuck between both. See? We have auto step and countering. Uh I I didn't farm these off stream because it would waste all the story XP I'd get. And I assume this uh, military Kenpo is the same, but with punching instead of kicking. I need to remember to kick more. With Kung Fu. Yeah, still need a bunch of XP for this. Oh, thank you for the coolant, Marth. One sec. But yeah. I want to be... Uh, always leveling a style. Oh, Countermaster. Nice. I mean, I disagree with my performance today. But, uh... Yeah, just gotta always have something that I'm leveling. Because that's the issue we ran into last time. Where I leveled everything off stream using the arena. But then when we got to back to doing the story on stream, uh, we were we didn't have anything to level. So we weren't we were wasting a bunch of XP that we were getting from those fights. Which is why I haven't done anything off stream this time. Still got a money farm, but it's more efficient this way. There we go. Okay, right, let's uh yeah, a few of these sub-stories are just constant, ongoing things. Like, this is the arena. This is the interview fighting style guy. And I, I don't remember if that... I, it, actually, no, I don't think it was a fighting style one. Because we, we did the one that got unlocked. And then the combined fighting styles don't have those interview fights. But So that should be a different sub-story. And this is the cat guy. Uh, do need to go get all the cats, though. I guess it's not a priority right now because we're not close to a uh, a threshold for a discount. So I guess we'll yeah we'll go see what this thing on the right is and then we'll do some story. So let's fight this guy. Hello. Yeah, Tatsuya gets into a lot more lower level fights because Kiryu, Kiryu gets into fights because of misunderstandings like oh you're looking at me funny or you you know. You look like Yakuza. Let's fucking fight. And you get the regular scumbags that, that everyone has to deal with. Who are, you know, the... Oh, you bumped into me. You broke my shoulder. Now you gotta pay for my medical bills. Those dicks. But you gotta you got a different spread of dudes to fight. Yeah, because I'm very overleveled. Uh, some of these fights go, uh, go a bit a bit easy. But I'm alright with that. Yeah, we're getting solid chunks for fights like that. Higher level guys definitely do uh, reward more XP as well. But the way they do it is that the more enemies there are in a fight, the less health each individual is generally going to have. So you can absolutely blitz through a fight with three enemies in a way that you couldn't do in a 1v1. Oh, hello. And you end up with more XP because it's more, more XP per enemy. So it's super efficient getting into big fights, but there's no way of telling. You just run into one guy and he could he could have any number of friends or none, you know? Alright, let's murder you. Nice. But I also get to do a lot of fights where I take no damage, which is nice. And yeah, I need to go to the drugstore as well. See, we got jack shit for that because he was one guy and he wasn't very strong. Um... Yeah, I need to go buy more drugs because I'm running out of heals. And I gotta clean up my inventory. That's what I was going to do, and then I forgot, and now I'm down here. God damn it. It's fine. Hey! You gotta walk right past us without even saying hello? I I wasn't I didn't walk past you. 
We better teach a prick like you some damn manners. The everyone has to deal with these guys. Yeah, need drugs, need drugs. To the board. If I don't have my drugs, I'll die. Yeah, yeah, bring it in, fellas, bring it in. You've got pretty quick attacks, eh? And you like to guard. The enemies, you know, the enemies also have the the various fighting styles and the the diff the various AI for each fighting style are very distinct. So there are the, the 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 enemies that aren't a pain to deal with are the ones that don't block. Cuz then you can just kind of steamroll them. But anyone who blocks, you have to weave in some grabs. There we go. How dare you walk past us even though you haven't actually. Yep. That's how flimsy some of the logic in, in Yakuza random battles are. But but this is a sub-story though, supposedly. Even though it's, it's kind of just started like a random fight. There we go. Yeah, I'm kind of used to the... Cause we, we only have the, the the plus one benefit to dodge and catch. I'm used to the plus two catch. The timing's kind of awkward. Hey, what's going on with you guys? What the hell was that? Oh, was it a, a setup? A framing? <laughs> what a great picture. I'll call this one Camarocho De Delinquents, I think. Hey, the hell are you talking about? Wait a minute. You're gonna be in a world of hurt soon, kid. Just blackmail? Try and be careful out there. Bye now. Okay, but he just ran off. Didn't make an immediate demand. Was he a journalist for a newspaper or something? I'm in trouble if I do anything that makes too many waves. Yeah, because uh, Tatsu is on probation. He's been a very bad boy. Okay, did that open anything up? Uh, yes, there's something down here on Pink Street. So I guess we'll we'll go get some drugs. Uh, it's right by there. Pulling a grown man, kid. I mean, he is a kid. Uh, Tatsuya is underage, despite kicking so much ass. I don't know what his exact age is. Actually, let me go look it up. It's probably on the wiki. Uh, Ukyo Tatsuya. Yeah, Tatsuya is a lot younger than most Yakuza protagonists. Let's see. Yeah, he's 17 in this game and 19 in the sequel. He's, I, I thought he'd be 18 or 19 now. But no, he is he is a kid, technically. Even though he's dropped out of school and is, like, stronger than most of the people in the city. That's just the life he's lived. Yeah, he dropped out of high school, as far as we know. Yeah, see, this guy doesn't guard. You can tell from his stance. Oh, well, he wasn't guarding there. There's a lot to um, reading an enemy stance in this. We well, say lucky, but he, he went to, like, juvie, basically. And now he's being blackmailed and held hostage to fight in death battles in an illegal underground arena. I don't know how lucky that is. He, he is lucky that he's strong in his situation, or else he'd be fucked. I mean, he also wouldn't be in this situation if he wasn't strong, because he killed that guy. He beat his ass too hard, and then he did an evil laugh. Hello. One guy, come on. Come on, man. Like, oh, 90 XP from a single guy isn't worth having to look at the Millennium Tower at the start of every fight. Like, any XP is good, of course, but... Not, oh my god. I didn't think I'd take him down so quick. What is school if not juvie? Well, yeah, I, I guess. Yeah, 90, come on. And I got a monogrammed bag. That's taking up inventory space that could be for drugs. Fuck. I got no room. Oh, man. Yeah, I'm gonna... Let's... Uh, I'll just do the sub-story down here. I need to go clean out my inventory, though. Before I get my, my big drug resupply. Come on, come on. Cat. Yeah, you have to... You have to go to the spot on the map, then it meows, then you stop. If it meows again, you can press the button and get the cat. There we go. Right, what's going on down here? Is it the photographer again? It is! 
I think it's time for you to buzz off. You're hurting our business, sex shop employee. Don't be so mean. Just take another look. Have you seen the girl in this photo? She might work at one of the clubs around here. I told you, I don't know who the hell this girl is. Why do you want to know in the first place? Well, I... If you snoop around too much, you'll bring out the guys who run this place, and you don't want that. Yeah. Hmm. Hey, I found you. A kid from the other day, like five minutes ago. Go away. You took a sneaky photo of me. I told you to go away. I'm not in the mood. Bro is wearing that, like, flat cap and thinks he can intimidate me. Anarchy, there he is. Yeah, the other day, apparently. You're the bastard who's been snooping around my territory, eh? <laughs> You're old enough to know better. The woman you were looking for. Did you run away? Can't you just leave it the hell alone, huh, pal? Yeah! The wingman. Oh! Hmm? The hell are you? I'm, I'm just here. Yeah, time is... Time is more fluid in Kamarocha. You don't look familiar. How about it, Anarchy? Should we show him what's up? I'm I'm doing and saying nothing. <laughs> what a menacing look you have. I like it. <laughs> be careful. <laughs> this guy's gonna be tough. Okay. Okay. Fine by me, I guess. I'm happy to throw down, but it's a sub story, so we're probably not going to get much XP, which is what I care about. Yeah, look at that. You can, you can just go hog wild. <laughs> not even let them do anything with, with certain movesets, if you know what you're doing. It's great. Yeah! Love that jumping kick. I'm glad I bought that one. The, the charge attacks, you have to buy individually and set them. 60? Not even 90? For two guys? Come on, he did hair. He almost hit me with the, the tehepero. What a kid. Aniki, let's get out of here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How ironic. I never thought you'd save my life. I'm Suzuki from Peeping Weekly. <laughs> There's a magazine called Peeping Weekly. Uh, at least they're honest about what they're about, you know? I'm quite well known in the industry and around Camarocho. Well-known peeper. Why the hell did you randomly take a photo of me? Give me that camera. I'm going to smash it to bits. You're going to get violent again? It's always the same for punks like you. Chasing women. Beating up innocent people. I don't do either of those things. All just to get what you want. TV shows and movies show punks like you as cool. But really, you're no better than scum. Look forward to my scoop in the upcoming Peeping Weekly. I don't think people are going to read articles about the degradation of our youth in Peeping Weekly. I think they're there for something else, you know? Does this guy have a grudge against me? Because a scum like you, Kumi is fucked. Kumi? Who's that? You should ask that out loud. I'll thank you for today, but fuck you for everything else you do. Fair enough. <laughs> what a guy. Seemed like he was looking for someone. Even if he was getting into quite a lot of danger. <laughs> Not my problem. Yeah, but you are going to get involved in it though. Tatsuya. It's just the way you are. Uh, doesn't look like that's continuing for now then. Okay, let's head back to the infirmary. And I'm going to get all this crap out of my inventory. I'm going to buy some drugs. And then we're going to buy a newspaper. Because that's what the story... Uh, uh, we, uh, it's what we need to do for the story. Buy a newspaper to find out more about that guy we didn't murder. Whose body has been found. It's, it, it's probably not his body. It would be Kuki giving up one of his... Suppo supposedly one of his best guys. And maybe he's not actually supposed to be that strong. But my my thought that he was like a a filter for punks. Oh my god, his stance. Hard to dodge or catch any of these. Fucking hell. Oh no. Yeah, enemies can dodge you, and that happens. It's a guaranteed hit on a dodge for them and for you. There we go. Eat shit. There we 
we go. You can always get hits in while they're on a knee like that. Yeah, some fighting styles are just harder, regardless of what level the enemy is. Still not dead. Good on the wake up. Fuck. It's such a hard input, man. There we go. Ooh, double spinning kick. God, you suck. Oh, there we go. Nice. Yeah, some fights are just hard. and There's not much I can do about it. Need insane reactions. Ooh, I get the XP. Yeah, you can only pick that if you've got heat. Yeah, that's a decent reward considering the difficulty. Fair enough. Okay, I should, uh, yeah, I should eat while I'm passing by here. Need to not die. Need my Smile Burger. No, I don't want to work at Smile Burger. Nope, 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 that's not me. Nope, we're not doing the Burger mini game again. Uh, give me, uh, give me a, some Smile Fries and a Smile Shake. Come on, Smile Shake. There we go. And yeah, that barely did anything, but it's it's completion. It goes on the list, even though I can't look at it here. That's an annoy another annoying thing. You know, usually you can look at the completion list anywhere, but not in this game. Again, you have to go to a hideout. Okay, fellas. You can have some of my health, but I'll be taking your XP in exchange. Yeah, like, look at these guys. You'd never see Kiryu fighting, a like, a dude that looks like this, would you? Just completely alien concept. Hey, you're done. No. No grab. No, no grab. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of this uh, Styles move set. It's, supposed, it's the one where kicks are better, but the kicks are kind of lacking in range and have weird slow animations, but we got to get it leveled. We're getting there, though. Shouldn't be too many more fights. How's my money looking? Yeah, we're building it back up. We get a decent amount from regular fights now, too, which is nice. Uh, right, here we are. Take me to Dragon Heat. I need to throw my crap into a locker. Here we are. All right. Yes, I would like to check. Why is that an option? Okay. Sort items. That can go there. That can go away. With all my other turners. We've got, like, limited slots in here. I'm going to have to sell some of this stuff. Yeah, I have my better heals for later. So much crap. Yeah, I've already got it quarter filled. There we go. Get rid of the rekindled Grahit and the Nagult P. What is that? Oh, that's the punch buff. Don't care about that. Uh, that can stay. Keep my toughnesses. I'm going to keep my, my charms and whatnot. And I'm going to save just in case. You never know. We've been screwed before. Right, get me out of here. Okay, now I'll go buy some drugs and hope that any random fights I get into in the meantime don't give me a bunch of bullshit clogging up my inventory. Got no need of that. Right, yes, I know my way there without checking the map. The advantage of playing all these games, like back to back to back to back, is you really get familiar with Camarocho after a certain point. It, it does change from game to game, but not much. Uh, I guess I'll do some training while we're here. But it's convenient having this guy right next to the drugstore. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I guess we'll just keep working up towards 15 on all of them. I'll just get that one. Get more grab attack power. Thank you. Thank you. Now drugs. We've We've hit an equilibrium now. Where, you know, to buy the amount of heals... You know, we're buying Toughness ZZs, not Zs anymore. Because Zs don't heal for much. Um, and we can buy enough of these. I think we can buy enough to fill our inventory. Yeah, buy enough to fill our inventory, no problem. 
um, with the amount of money we usually just keep in our pocket. So we've got a good e equilibrium where we're making money and we can keep ourselves supplied. Pretty much no problem. Right, now, let's go buy a newspaper. Hell yeah. Let's go find out if we, if we really have done a murder. Even though the newspaper definitely won't tell us definitively, but whatever. Newspaper it is. Tatsuya's has never bought one before. Canon. Welcome. Hey, where's the newspaper? Um, the newspaper? It's over there. Yes, Nikon Sports. Hmm. Okay, I, it, it sounded like it would be a sports magazine. This isn't going to... Yeah, it's going to be a key item, surely. Um, but yeah, I guess they have uh, an article about the murder and the body discovery in this sports newspaper? Whatever. I don't know how newspapers work either. Thank you very much. Hmm. News about Toda. Let's see what it says. Oh! Yeah, we got sick art on it too, right? In the Chichibu Mountains in Saitama Prefecture, a man's body was found. The man was identified as a restaurant owner from Kamurocho, Tokyo. Naoki Toda. The police have classified it as a murder case due to bruising on the victim's head. Bruising. We, we did cause... Well, we caused... Toda some bruising, whether this is Toda or not, who knows. Investigations are now underway. Hmm. Doesn't seem to mention me. What does this mean? I mean, they don't know you did it. I saw Toda at Choraku that night. Was Kuki involved in his death? Shit, if I don't do anything, the cops will come after me. I need to talk to Kuki. Seems sensible. I mean, I'm, he's probably going to give us some bullshit, but might as well. Better head to the Kuki family office and ask what the hell's going on. Hmm. The mysteries. The many mysteries. God, I love the low-poly Camarocho citizens. It's so good. Look at the, the clumps of meat that make up this man's hand. There's so few polygons in his head. And they, you know, on a PSP screen and at a distance, which is where you usually see these overworld models. It doesn't look bad. The illusion is maintained fairly, fairly well. And, you know, this isn't on a PSP. So, I would have played it on the Vita, but I need my turbo now. MMA level one? I don't know if we've seen MMA yet. Hmm. Maybe we have and I just didn't pay attention. But I've never noticed it. Uh oh, another clash. Oh, we're winning. We're winning. Okay, we drew, but I got heat. Just, it's nice that you do get rewarded, if, you know, if you if you don't get, if you don't take damage, and if, even if you don't necessarily win. Oh, fuck, we're doing another one. Yellow heat, yellow heat. Oh, no. He's winning, but... Oh, no, we managed it. And I got red heat, so eat shit. Oh, that was all it took. You shouldn't have given me all that heat. I leeched it from your body. Oh, dear. Not bad XP for one guy. Thanks. Okay. Gotta get this cat. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, will I get the cat in time? Yes, but I will do this fight. Oh, another weapon mania, dude. And it is weapon mania. I looked, I was looking at the styles. It's not like weapon maniac, but cut off or something. It's just a style called weapon mania. Yeah, I assume it makes you good with weapons, but the people who people who have it never actually pick up weapons, so I don't know. Fine by me. Yeah, 108 XP for that. And yeah, we can just put that... Oh, wait. Oh, no, that's right. We have to keep a garbage inventory slot. I forgot. Okay, I'll, I'll, t I'll put a toughness away then. And we can have my garbage slot. Because you're not allowed to send the thing that you just got. Uh, to the item box. It has to be... that. It has to be a transfer. It has to be alchemy. It has to be an equivalent exchange, you know? Can't just have a neat, clean inventory that remains as such for the duration of the game. No. That'd be too easy. Yeah, there's a cat. Yeah, a few cats this way. I guess we'll... Yeah, we could go get the rest of the cats available to us right now. We just have to head up north, detour through Theatre Square. And then we've got the those cats squared away. Oh, hello. And we get XP along the way. 
It's farming, but it's productive farming, interweaved with other stuff that I need to do. Oh, the song bangs. Thank you, Hideki Naganuma. Got it. What do you got? What do you got? Nothing. He's got nothing. He really has nothing. And yeah, I could tell he was weak. Give him a heal to the head. There we go. Getting close. Oh, 1337 to the next style level. Holy shit. Truly leet. All right, where's that cat? Thank you. What cat? Okay, so one up by the store up here. Here we go. But seriously, the man, the man, his grandkids left him 101 cats for some reason. Some weird Japanese variant of 101 Dalmatians happened. Off screen. That could be its own game. All right. Yeah, one over this way, one in Theatre Square Park proper. And we got to knock more random people over. <laughs> there we go. And hey, Luna, hello. Good to see you. Oh, God. Oh, hey, yes. Give me a card. I have to ask you. Please feel free to ask me. Yeah, yeah. Secret to explore at home. The pornography cards. I know. Oh, there we are. Yes. One guy. God damn. What you got, buddy? Is the Kamen Rider Drive guy a good actor? I think so, yeah. Um, I'm, I've, I'm very excited by the news. That's why I, the, the starting song for today's stream was the, the Kamen Rider Drive opening. But yeah, he's pretty good. He's pretty good. Um, for those unaware, the guy who played the main character of Kamen Rider Drive is going to be playing Kazuma Kiryu in the upcoming live action series. But yeah, he's really good. Um, he plays a very compelling character in Drive. Uh, he handles the all the m much more emotional scenes towards the end of Drive really well. Uh, I I always liked him, uh, and it seems like he's in insanely good shape from what I've been seeing now. He has gotten mega buff for the role, and just the, the the few promotional shots they've put out of him as Kiryu look pretty goddamn good. I've seen Naked Director, but I heard it's good. Yeah, yeah, he's been doing pretty well in his career, so I've heard. I've not seen him in other stuff. Aside from Drive. But yeah, he's really good. He's he's great in Drive. I recommend watching Drive. It's got a lot of really good characters. He is but one of them. But it's great. Just need the Nishiki and Majima. Yeah, I, I look forward to finding, uh, you know, hearing more about the casting. Uh, I found out actually that in the stage play, I don't know if it's the stage play. Oh, and thank you for the stretch moth. I'm just doing that now. Uh, but this, I don't know if it's the stage play that's up and subtitled on YouTube. But uh, in one of, in a stage play uh, for Yakuza, Nishiki was played by the guy who plays Kamen Rider Gaim as well. So maybe they could get him back because Gaku, Gakusano is is pretty cool. Also, I'd I'd be hyped about that. And then I was I saw people saying like, oh, now imagine if we also got uh, Tetsuya Iwanaga uh, from from X Aid. <laughs> Guy who plays Hiroto Dan. Is that his name? Da Dan. Any, that, no, that's not his name, is it? Hold on. No, that's not his name. I'm I'm bad with names. It's it's hard enough remembering all these actors' names. Uh I'm trying to remember his name. Uh some yo, know, Dan. He's Dan. Kuroto Dan. There you go. I was close. I was close. Uh I didn't have to look it up. I just searched my memory. But having him as Majma would be pretty good. He's got the energy for it. But, um, yeah, I'm really excited about it, actually. I talked a bit about it at the end of yesterday's stream. But, and I, there's more information out now. Um, but it's, it, it is seemingly split between 1995 and 2005, as you'd expect, if they're retelling Yakuza 1. But it seems like they're putting a lot more, a lot more content into the 95 stuff. So we get to see more of Kiryu and Nishiki and Yumi, hopefully, before it's, remember a name but before everything goes wrong build up those characters and kazama as well uh yeah, could played in a live action version of this game did he oh oh i didn't know that i knew i knew there was a live action kurohyo but i didn't actually know he was in it oh shit i've really got to go watch that Takuru, i believe oh, okay 
Huh. I'll have to check that out then. Thank you for the info. But yeah, we shouldn't be able to get another cat map because it's one per chapter. So that's our cats sorted for now. But yeah, good stuff. I was I was saying uh, last time that some reason Kurohyo got a, a lot of attention when it came to spinoffs because, you know, Yakuza 1 has had a movie and a stage play and is now getting another series. So I guess I guess what I said last time is no longer true with that announcement. There you go, buddy. But, um, yeah, this had a, a manga. I don't know if it was any good, but it had a manga adaptation and a live action adaptation. So someone really gave a shit about Kurohyo for some reason. Not enough to bring it over to the West. Though. Yeah, it was also Nishiki in the stage play. Okay, yeah, I knew about that. Yeah, interesting, interesting. I gotta, I gotta, I guess I gotta see if I can find, it's always fun to try and find that crossover, you know, between, uh, between my interests. It's like been reignited. I, I was saying yesterday I had that with Godzilla Minus One, which I watched the other day as well. There's a couple of uh, tokusatsu actors in that also. There we go. Including someone who was in Drive, actually. So it's just a, a good time for people who played characters in Drive right now, apparently. They explicitly trust this guy. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Right, let's go talk to Kuki. See what's going on. Is Toda dead or not? Be real with me, my dude. Why are you bullshitting me? Let's go, let's go. To the Kuki office. But yeah, still, a, and it, it is apparently dropping in two chunks, like a, a bunch of episodes and then a bunch of episodes later, but, and it's still a while before it's coming out, but I'm looking forward to it. Um, I was saying yesterday, that was kind of, you know, my issue with Yakuza 1 and Kiwami is that the story isn't very good and the characters aren't fleshed out enough. So hopefully we can finally get like a definitive, really good version of Yakuza 1. October 24th, the first chunk. Uh, three episodes each with an hour per... Okay, good, good. Not dropping too much on us at once is nice, because... I've seen many series get fucked over by having to drop everything all at once. And there being no, like, weekly hype about it or anything like that. Grown after how jacked Drive is, right? He's fucking huge now. I don't think he was that buff during Drive. Uh, maybe he's just gotten that buff since then, or maybe some of it is just for this role. But, yeah, seeing him in the, the promotional shots that they've put out, he looks like a pretty good body fit for Kiryu, as, as good as you can get. We'll have to see how his performance is, but I'm very hopeful. Yeah, I was thinking of Part 6. I was thinking of Part 6, and I was thinking of uh, Invincible as well. All fucked by the exact same thing. That benefits no one. Like, no one benefits from that. Like, yeah, you get to watch it all at once, but it's not as fun. It sucks. It's no good. Hopefully less of that in the future. Yeah, no. There's no way talking to Kuki would work out here. Yeah, I really loved him in Drive. Just, I, I'd, I'd be excited to watch it even if I hadn't gotten into Yakuza, just because of him. A lot of potential in it. Could be terrible, of course. The potential always exists, but I'm hopeful. I'm usually not hopeful about video game, game adaptations, so that's saying something. Mm. <laughs> we were already sticking around, though. Uh, I haven't watched the movie yet. I really want to. Hopefully before the series comes out. I've seen bits and pieces of it. I know... It, it goes hardcore into the camp, the campiness, you know, and I doubt the new series is going to go that far, but I'm glad they did that. It seems really good. I need to watch that and I need to watch the stage play because I've seen some pretty good stuff from the stage play too. Mm. 
I mean, we were shutting up and concentrating on it before you caused all this shit to happen. The Rusty Rabbit previews. Yeah, I did. I, I I saw like one tweet about it. That's it is that is the game that has Takeya Kuroda as like a, a cute little rabbit, right? And and uh, Urobuchi is writing for it or something like that. That's all I've seen of it, though. I just heard that it exists. I'm very interested in it, though. I think that's what it, that's is that the name of that thing? I think. I think is that right? Hold on. I need to Google. I haven't looked into it much. Yeah. Yeah. By Nitro Plus as well. Yeah. I... That's coming out in September as well. I need to consider that. Just looking at the screenshots of it. And the first thing that came to my mind was Mighty Number no. 9. For some reason. But uh, it probably... It'll be good. It'll be good. And it's got Takeya Kuroda in it. It's a mech game. Yeah. I didn't know that until now. And then I see the, the funny little rabbit. In a in like a, a planet Robobot mech. And there's also some nice some nice art in there too. Yeah, definitely definitely gonna keep an eye on it at the very least. I hope it's good. More Takea Kuroda content. Yeah, surely it was Kuki that killed Toda. So he is dead now. Anyway, I need to gather some more info from the Kuki family. Hey, you won five matches in a row now. Tatsuya, right? Can I shake your hand? Sure. Who are you? Me? I'm with the Kuki family. I saw your exciting matches in Dragon Heat. We got a fan. Really? So, do you know anything about Toda? Toda? Oh, Toda Anarchy. He was suddenly killed. It surprised all of us. I don't know too much about Toda Anarchy. You're better off asking the Kuki family guys towards Nakamichi Street. Can't afford to look too suspicious. Better talk to these Kuki family guys. Hmm. Yeah, we wouldn't be on this trail if you just, like, kept Toda alive, but secretly. But I guess because... Oh, God. We're not being told what to do again. Great. It said Nakamichi Street. Yeah, well, yeah, we can just hang out. Yeah, Nakamichi Street's the other one. This way. There should be some guys around here. How about you? I can do this without a guide. No, no, no. I want to I wanna talk to this guy. No, 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 don't enter. I want to talk to the guy. Here, this guy. Hello. What do you know about Toda? Huh? We only know what the boss wants us to know. Don't think I'm going to give you squat. You ain't part of the family, so I ain't telling you nothing. Tch, these kooky guys aren't going to give me anything. I just talked to the residents of Kamarocho. I just asked around on more, uh, ask around more on Nakamichi Street. Okay. But yeah, I got a... Just, just talk to NPCs that are around. We'll eventually figure it out. We can see him on the map, too. I'm trying to find info on the Kooky family. Can you help me? I don't know shit. I ain't getting involved. If you want dangerous info like that, you should ask the homeless. Everyone's keeping their mouths shut about the Kooky family. Hmm. Ask the homeless, huh? Oh, and that guy vanished. Oh, and you, yeah, I figured you were a card guy because your outfit. Thank you. Yep, give me your pornography cards. The precursor to the Yakuza 0 pornography cards. Okay. I don't know if we even have an option to look at them. Maybe we will once we get a complete set, but I don't think we have any complete sets yet. I, I assume more of those are getting unlocked as we go on as well. Oh, that's just the UFO catcher guy. Okay. Go further. Yeah, there's no one else here on Nakamichi Street. Hmm. I mean, maybe up north a bit? Yeah, we can't go on that map and see where NPCs are. Oh, hello. Alright, fellas. I might have to resort to the guide again. This game really loves doing that. It's like three or four times now we've been in the exact same situation. Where it's like, well, better go gather information. And then they just give you no guidance. And you've got to talk to a, a random of assortment of NPCs in a weird-ass order. I'm looking forward to not having to use this style anymore. I'm not a fan of the moveset. Not a fan of these kicks. There we go. Oh, God damn it! Always with the, the recovery moves. Should stop charging when they're recovering. There you go. It never works. It barely ever works. 
Go for a quick attack if you're going to do that. Thanks for the money, I guess. Oh, getting close to that level. Just a few more fights. A few more good fights. Okay. So we talked to that one guy and then he disappeared. But he was towards the top of the street. So maybe if we do keep going this way, we'll run into someone else. Hmm. Someone on the corner here. Could it be this or is this some rando? Hmm. Information on underground society? Excuse me? Yeah, I'm trying to find information about the Kooky family. Can you help me out? I don't know that kind of information. If you really want to know, you'll have you'll need to ask him. Him? You need the right connections, though. Otherwise, you can't meet him. Is this going to be about the florist again? We already met him last time. Is he talking about the florist? I knew it. He's the only one who would know. People are in contact with the florist. Maybe some homeless people around here? Hmm. The homeless people are usually further up north, but... If they're saying I need to look around this area, then that's what I'll do. Alright, buddy. Give me your pittance of XP. And your QTE. Free damage. Love to see a free damage. What do you got? What do you got? Huh? Nothing. Nothing's what you got. There we go. Yeah, it's always the florist. Even in the spin-offs, it's always the florist. God damn it. Like, now this game is falling into the florist trap that the mainline games fall into. We were doing okay for a while. But now Tatsuya knows the florist exists. So he can use the florist to solve all of his problems. Are you homeless? I'm trying to find information about the Kooky family. Oh, you're homeless. Well, I'm not sure myself. Those homeless guys are just the eyes and ears for the florist. Oh, you, you can just say that to any random dude? Got an ad for Oreo ice cream and now I'm hungry. Oh, no. You are not immune to propaganda, it turns out. You can't just give out information like that. Sorry, brother. I guess I'll have to see the florist in person. It'll be expensive. The entrance is over in Children's Park, I think. Okay, we were able to follow the guidance we were given and figure that, ob that objective out naturally. That's the best that's been so far. Last time we had to find the florist, we had to, like, talk to a bunch of people, then talk to a girl, then talk to a homeless guy that the girl's looking at, and then go back and forth between them for, like, five minutes to get the password. And it was a stupid, obvious password. What's homeless guys? The eyes and ears of the florist. Nobody told Akiyama. Yeah! Like, why are they so... Oh, God. Why are they so laissez-faire with their secrets now? Because they even said when we were talking to the, the guy that was covering the manhole cover last time that, you know, we ha we've had to up security. We've got a password now. Stuff like that. Or, you know, just recently, all kinds of people were getting into the sewers, you know, like Yak of the Four. So we had to do this password thing. But then immediately, like, we just figure it out. Like, we're not even told the password or anything. It was just like, oh... That guy was talking about flowers earlier. And then you have to ask him. Like the password is, do you, you know, do you sell flowers or something like that? It's like really easy. If you know you're looking for the florist, you're going to arrive at the solution eventually. They give you infinite tries at the password as well. It just isn't secure. It's no good. They screwed it up real bad. Maybe one day they'll figure it out. But maybe once we get to that point, the florist will stop showing up in the story. Because he's too well hidden. He's hidden himself in another dimension. So we can't access him anymore. He can't solve all our problems for us now. There you go. What a chump. You also, I imagine, will prove to be a chump. Come here. There you go. Nice and easy. It's routine. What if he ends up in Hawaii? Yeah, that would be sick, actually. I'd love to see him just show up in Hawaii. Uh, that, I don't know. How, how would that work? Like, you hear rumors that the florist is somewhere in Hawaii and you need to find him for information. And you just find him, like, lounging on a beach chair on a beach somewhere in a Hawaiian shirt with shades on and a hat and just sipping from a drink. 
and you walk up to him. It's like, hey, you're the florist, right? I need information. You you have information, right? And he's like, wait, what? What the fuck? I'm on I'm on vacation. I don't have my information network here. What the fuck are you talking about? Go away. I don't do that anymore. I'm retired. <laughs> exactly. I'm not helping you with shit. I'm on vacation. <laughs> Like, you just assume because I'm here, I have some kind of network of homeless people that happen to know everything. But then you have to you have to be really insistent with him, and then his beach chair lowers into the floor of the beach somehow, and he does have another office. Uh, and it was just complete bullshit. I wouldn't be surprised. The kind of thing he would do. Hello, Mr. Homelessman. Looking for the florist of sight. Huh? You the kid from the other day? Like, you could just lie. Like, he... It's an old guy. He's not even certain that he recognizes you. You could be like, oh, you know, don't you remember you let me in the other day? And he'd be like, oh, yes, I remember now. Come on through, sonny. And that's it. The security is defeated. Oh, you, oh, you could just beat up the homeless man. Old homeless man. God damn. Cats causing chaos. Oh, no. Your cat's gonna do a heat move to your furniture. I was expecting, you know, when we went to him last time, that would be just the one time we visit him for the game. Or at least, if we did see him again, it would be further down the line. Not immediately, like, in the very next chapter, we'd go back to him again. We're not gonna be able to afford him, he's so expensive. Hmm. I guess. And mill, I can't make that money in this game. Hmm. Okay. But cats got pet, pet procedures, they don't do heat moves. Oh no. <laughs> Oh no, that's a good one though. Self-proclaimed? No, you don't, you don't want to see a cat in red heat. It'll do some serious shit. Okay. Oh, we even got a photo. Is the printing fee going to be on the bill? Almost broke your TV, Jesus! Might want to get it bolted down. Hostess named Chiaki. Where could I find it? I mean, maybe go to Meb? Guess I better start looking around on Pink Street. Oh, no. We gotta go to Pink Street. Oh, that, that could have been a nice way to integrate Meb into the story. You know, if you want information on hostesses, that's where you go. But I guess not. Oh, well. Tatsuya isn't that smart. He's just gonna start roaming the streets. Probably gonna be shouting her name. It'll be a travesty, man. Yeah, I, I, I said earlier, I've been playing Monster Hunter Rise again. Yeah, I gotta... I, I'm struggling with time management. I need... I, I want to do video projects. But I also want to play FF14, and I also want to play Rise again now. And I also got a stream. <laughs> Fuck. It's an ordeal. Let's see as a Shenmue protagonist. Yeah, he just talks to everyone. He goes around. He, he talks to everyone and asks them about his current keyword. Do you know anything about the Chinese? And then he gets a new keyword and repeats the process. I'm looking for some homeless people. Do you know where homeless people might be? I used to be homeless. Ooh, ooh, really close. One more fight should give us levels on both. No, I don't have to use Kung Fu anymore. Yeah, I gotta play Shenmue someday. I don't know if I'd play all of them. But I've got to at this point. I, I, I always think of that one line. There, there's a guy who says, I used to be Chinese. <laughs> In Shenmue. And that always cracks me up. But there's so much goofy ass shit. At least in Shenmue 1. I don't know anything about the others. I know 3 isn't supposed to be very good. But, um... I've got to experience that for myself. One of these days. But i got so many things to do. <laughs> like I said, I'm, I'm so busy. I'm nearly done with, uh... 
Final Fantasy XIV story. I'm just cruising through the post and Walker story now, and really interesting and cool stuff is happening. I did like one of the coolest trials so far the other day, just yesterday, actually. Uh, Barbaricia, or have you pronounce it? Barbaricia? Who's kind of a Bayonetta-esque lady who does cool hair stuff. And she starts out, she's, she's got attitude, so I liked her from the start. She's got big, long, flowing hair. And she does a lot of really interesting moves during the fight, where you have to, that are kind of non-standard for 14, where it's less about paying attention to little AoE indicators on the floor, um, and more looking at her to see where her AoEs are going to be. Uh, but then she goes fucking insane -o. She does, like, she has a phase change. She jumps into the air, wraps her entire body in her hair, but instead of it being, like, Bale, it's, like, a sick-ass bodysuit. But then it has, like, Kamen Rider Fang Joker's spikes coming out of the arms and legs. And then she, she comes down by doing an insane punch. She, like, punches the ground from the sky. Uh, and then she's just rapid firing AOEs, and she's you know she's got short hair now. It's really sick. Like there's her, the Zero who showed up, and I really love her design. There's so many good ass character designs where I'm at right now. It's great. I don't want the Italian scarf. All right, to the trash slot it goes. There you go. Kung Fu is max, so I can take that off. I didn't pay any, uh, attention to what it actually. Got us. Oh, we got the plus two on the auto step encountering power. That's good. That's good. Definitely useful. Um, hmm. I guess we'll work on. Hmm. No, let's work on karate. Since that, you know, it's a, a basic style, so it takes less XP to level up. So let's go with karate for a bit. Uh, just need to not counter, do a lot of kicks still. But it's karate, so it's better than. The, the moves uh, uh, aren't the ones I'm tired of, anyway. Right, anyway, to Pink Street. To Pink Street. But yeah, it was, I was at the point where I was like, I kind of want to draw this character, even though I have no experience drawing more human characters, uh, and I'm bad at art, generally. But I kept, there the keeps being shots of Zero. She's got a really cool hat. Um, I don't know how to describe it. Um, but it's kind of pointed towards the front. Um, and the way she's kind of poised in cutscenes is such that the hat will often cover either both or one of her eyes in a really dramatic, cool-looking way. So I kept taking screenshots, like, damn, this is framed so well. I love the way her hat looks. She's so cool. She's got a great design in general. She's got short hair. She's all, like, gray and black because of her her circumstances that I won't talk about because I guess it's spoilery. But she's really interesting. But yeah, look. Really easy to get levels on karate. I guess maybe level basic styles like this in ra random ass fights. And then for the big XP drops uh, in the story, we go for the more advanced styles. Save us some grinding. This is, no, this isn't Pink Street. This is Senryo, isn't it? Yeah. I remember. I will not forget Senryo anymore. Hello, Arai. Glad to see you're out of jail. And looking completely different. Isn't that great? There we go. Thank you. Oh, he dodged it. Oh, no, he's too good. Arai. Yeah, no, he's dead. Yeah, hopefully gonna get back on the wagon with video stuff. It's it's hard to find the motivation to do and like the inspiration for it. Because I could I could you know, that's what I've been doing is going through like the Yak the Four video and just putting subtitles on it, since that's a thing I can do without any creative drive. Now I need to put some time aside and seriously work on some stuff. I, I did pretty good. I had a good uh, momentum going when I was doing the amnesia video. But then it kind of fell away. <laughs> this sucks. But such is life, man. It's a struggle. There we go. Nice. I need to do more 
After Effects stuff as well. What again? When I can find ideas to do for that. Yeah, nearly level four on karate. Let's go. Okay, so yes, yeah, somewhere on Pink Street. Uh, will you know? Uh, can I ask you something? I'm looking for a girl named Chiaki San. Have you seen the girl in this picture? Are you drunk, Tatsuya? Which on is she? Hmm, let me see. Oh, I see. You know this woman? Is she in this club? She doesn't work here, but I know your type now, bro. Come in, I'll give you my best recommendation. She's not here? Stop trying to trick me. Maybe we'll be back another time. Yeah, not a hard no. Okay, is that... The guy up there is the bikini bar guy, so... I'll start by going south. See, I can, uh, see if I can find anyone. God, I'm getting real tired of these intros. There is, there is like a way to do a, uh, a game speed increase bind. I'm gonna have to figure that out, just so I can skip those intros more. <laughs> I just, I do not care to see the same fight intro. 100 million times, man. Just to throw down on a couple of guys and not take any damage. Ooh, thanks for the XP. That might be our level for karate. I hope so. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, let's go. Karate level four. New punch combo. And I, I, I don't remember what the stats were before, so I don't know which in, uh, increased. But we still got that downside for now. Next level, we'll get rid of that, I imagine. But yeah, it was heat charge speed. That's good. Gotta love heat charge speed. Right, anyone down here? No. Okay. Okay, so maybe it is the guy at the bikini bar. Oh, good. Another fight. I'm sure I did smash your friend's face then. Never stops this cycle of violence. I don't need to see this. I don't need to see the the Camarocho sign that no one cares about. Not the, the real iconic sign. That's it. Get murked. Just grab him out of a flip. Oh, I wanted to grab that. It's just such a hard input. Damn, Bajiquan goes pretty quick. Very aggressive style. I like it. I look forward to getting it. There you go. I like how that like, crate in the background is the only thing that didn't get blurred. The main character. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Thank you. Your XP is appreciated. Uh, right, I guess we'll talk to that guy then. I We might be harassed again before we get to him. It's about the right distance. Yep, told you. You get a feeling for these things. It's a very predictable interval between fights. They are avoidable, but I want the XP. I got so many styles to level. Oh, where are you going, Tatsuya? Oh, he's just doing the funny stance. And yeah, I need to switch out which grabs I use as well, because that is supposedly not affected by, uh, you know, kicking and punching strength. If you use a, a different type of grab, it's all under grab strength. Grab power, from what I've been told. Okay. Oh, you're back. You're welcome to work some more now. It's still pretty crazy here. Uh, no. Nope. Okay, so it's not you. I mean, maybe this girl knows. Maybe it is this girl. Maybe she's just conveniently here. That'd be nice. Sorry, can I ask you something? Have you seen the woman in this picture? Oh, that's Chiaki. She tried out for our club, but left pretty soon after. She didn't seem to care much for the money, and she didn't talk about herself much. So, didn't get much info out of her. Better keep asking. Okay, that was something. Uh, do we need to ask anyone over here? Do you know? Sorry, can I ask you something? Have you seen the woman in this picture? Oh, I know her. That's Jackie Chan. She was a weird kid, always trying to get the inside story around Camarocho. Ooh. 
Is she some kind of secret journalist? I tried taking her to parties and stuff, but she would just sit around on her phone. Hmm. Okay. That was interesting, though. Does the guy... Does whoever's down here? This is, this is behind Pink Street. Oh, no. You're a cardman again. Oh, well. I'll take your card. Yeah, it's another... I guess not necessarily a good reason, but another good reason. Uh, not a good... No, fuck. Another reason uh, to just look at the NPC markers on the map, because you might end up getting a reward. Worthless though it may be. Yeah, get overpowered! Almost good enough for me. As long as I don't take damage and I get heat, I'm cool with it. And then just rounce the guy. Thank you. Barely any XP. Come on, bro. You gotta do me better than that. Okay, so no one actually in that alley. There's someone on this... On... On, uh... Yeah, Senrio. Oh, you're just the guy at Love and Heart. Yeah, no, I don't care about you. I wish they would go away. The NPCs that are just hinting to you about minigames. No, no, no. I'm not fighting you. You didn't catch me, so you didn't earn me. No, we can go... There's someone up here. Go up North Pink Street. And again, we're just searching for random NPCs in a particular area. They really like having us do this. There we go. I think it is like about 10 chapters in this game. We're on six. So they're really, it feels like they're padding it out a little bit. You know, it's not like, not like, you know, Yak, oh shit, not like Yak the one. I mean, three did it too, but I liked it in three. The, the mandatory sub-story. It's not a mandatory sub-story thing. Which can be done well, of course. Everything we're doing is relative to the plot, but a lot of it is just busy work. Surely you've got to know. Oh, it's another Barker who looks like he's wearing a lab coat. Hey, can I ask you something? Ask me anything you want, bro. I'll help you out. Huh? You want to wet your whistle? Hmm. Not like that. I'm looking for a girl named Chiaki. Hmm, girl in this picture. I think I remember when she came and did a trial here. She was a strange one. Kept trying to get on a table with some yak as a... Ooh, yeah. She, she... Uh, oh, hmm. No, no. I was going to say maybe she'd be that detective lady from that sub-story. But probably not. She's probably just a sub-story character. But it's, I don't know, some journalist or detective or something. She already left here too. Seems like she's been going through a lot of jobs. She might still be working at one of the clubs around here. I better keep checking. Okay, further north then? What do you know? Oh, you're a cardman. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for the card. Uh, up here? Do you know something? Yeah, have you seen this woman? That's Jackie Chan, right? We used to work at a club together, but she ended up quitting. She was popular with the older guys. She knew a lot about finance and politics, but she wasn't requested much. She quit. That's not good. Fuck, we checked the entire street. I'm gonna have to look at the guide real soon. Oh, and thank you for the coolant, Ma. One sec. There we go. At least I can use the intro to get a coolant in. That's efficient. Oh my god. We are just embarrassing some of these dudes. You know he's only going to give me like 90 XP. I didn't even get heat, so I can't get more out of him. Fuck it. Oh, actually, no. That wasn't 90 for some reason. It was a good amount. It's weird. I don't get it. I don't know the rules. Um, Yeah, we could ask the guy outside of Jewel, maybe. Yeah, do you know? Lovely girl, but I haven't seen her at this club, or any other for that matter. Hmm. Girls are more sexy. Hmm, okay. Oh, fuck. Okay, time to look at the guide. Fuck's sake. They just love wasting my goddamn time. Chapter 6. Yeah, talk to the florist. Here we go. Okay. Okay, so... Eddie, until you reach Camry, there's a hostess on the street corner immediately southwest. Talk to her. What? 
There's like an order of things. Talk to the talk to her. Head all the way south to the next corner. Talk to that hostess. Some of these might be people we've talked to. Like some of the barkers. No, no, this yeah, he meant they meant this girl. Okay, so we talked to her. All the way south to the next corner, talk to that hostess. We talked to her. Head just east around the corner, talk to a third hostess. We talked to her. You'll need to talk to the staff instead of the hostess. Uh, first one is way north up the street. Yeah, we talked to him. Talked to an identical looking man across from Club Asia. And then the last is the doorman for Club Shine. Yeah, we talked to all those. We talked to a man in a waistcoat north and east of Kotobuki Drugs. You need 50,000 yen in your pocket to pay for the entrance of the club. Oh, God. There's another paywall? Uh, at least I... Oh, at least I can make money. So I was doing this... The entire the entirety of this fight until up till now. I was doing... Not even looking at the screen. <laughs> That's how easy it can be sometimes. Yeah, northeast of Kotobuki Drugs. I don't... I, I'm close to having the money for that, I think. I'll take yours. It won't be too hard to get if I need more. Yeah. Right, northeast of Kotobuki Drugs. So all the way south from here. God, this shit's so weird. Did I talk to you? Yeah, I've talked to you. They make it so goddamn weird. Oh, hello. Yep. Not really much chance of avoiding guys in streets this narrow. This man and his purple wife beer? What are you, a Saints Row creator character, bro? Have some have some class, man. That franchise is dead, haven't you heard? Kick you in the head. Didn't you hear the reboot was terrible? 90 XP. Okay. So not you, hostess lady. It's a north and east. Man in a waistcoat. Waistcoat? North and east northeast. Huh? Who? Like maybe it says north and east, not northeast. So maybe north and then east down the street? I don't know. Not enough info. And it even says, like, you need 50,000 yen. It might be 70,000 yen, so correct me if I'm wrong. So maybe that's not even not... Uh, maybe that's not even correct, man. It's like a philosophical issue. Can one really know anything at the end of the day? Can one really know how to progress in Kurahyo 1? Fuck, I'm so bad at catching. Fuck! Never do the input correctly. It sucks. Oh, couldn't sprint for a second there. Oh, you suck! Really wish NPCs couldn't, couldn't dodge. Because it feels a bit unfair. Yeah, it feels a bit unfair that they can just decide to do it when it's a timing-based thing for us. I'll die already. There you go. Damn right I win. They're just trying to pad out the playtime with stupid bullshit. Okay, so north. Wait, was it was it north and east? Yeah, north and east of Kotobuki Drugs. So further out this way? Hmm. I mean, it could be further north. I don't know. It's not you. You're one of the card guys. Oh, God. Oh, you were running mega fast. Yeah, it seems to be a difference in run speed for some of the, the overworld fights, too. Like, some of them, there's just no chance you're ever going to avoid. There you go. Get out of my face. At least he was easy. Do need to heal sometime soon, though. Thank you for nothing. I'll take your card, at least. Unless it is him. Already in love. So lucky I met her. No, it's still just the card guy. Fuck's sake. Where is this guy? 
It, I, maybe I need to talk to the doorman for Club Shine again? I I think I did that in the first place. But I don't know. Maybe it's something to do with the, the talking to NPCs in the right order. That has been a thing. See, that guy's not going nearly as quick. Hmm. This is definitely not north and east. Oh, is it you? Wait, were you here before? Why not try a cabaret this evening? We have, a cute, we have cute erotic girls that are ready to please you. Sorry, I ain't looking for that. I'm searching for a woman named Chiaki. Huh? Oh, the girl in this picture. Hmm, I've seen her before. Oh, I remember now. She came for a trial, but she quit right afterwards. Hmm, already left here too. So I don't think... Oh, wait! Oh, you see him? Look, he just appeared. He wasn't there before. This guy in the waistcoat. God, this is such bullshit. Oh my god. He just decided to start doing his job. Hey, does a girl called Chiaki work here? I heard she just quit her last job. Oh yes, Chiaki works here. Could just be any girl named Chiaki. Would you like to come in? 10,000 yen request fee and then the set fee. Comes to about 20,000 yen. What? Then the guide was wrong. Just like the floor has said, information shouldn't be given out freely. It's going to cost about 20,000 yen. Should have enough. Yeah, both the numbers Sir Z gave were wrong. It's neither 50k or 70k. It's 20k. What do you mean I don't have enough? Huh? I I definitely do. This is, I have nearly 50k. What do you mean? Oh, no. Okay. We did have this issue with the last money gate. In the, the, the amount, the number in the translation was just wrong. For some reason. Like, they just fucked it up. Somehow. There's a lot of... I mean, those issues with this translation patch, a lot of effort went into it and they did a good job. And there's been no major crashes either, which is good. Because there was an old patch that did have that issue. Okay, my health is all right. But there are a lot of, there are a lot of minor errors, which is fine. But we're, yeah, every time we've had a money wall like this, the number they've given has been wrong. Like, they've just... How, how do you fuck up the number that bad? And these... That's a serious issue. By comparison. Right. Guess I'll... I'll eat at Metsu. Yeah, I don't care about completion. Doesn't matter. Hello. I would like all of your large foods. I need health. I need more health. I need beef. Uh, I, I, I'm either max or close to max. That'll do. Right, so yeah, I guess we've got a... It's either 50 or 70. I'm going to hope that it's 50k, which we're very close to. So I guess we'll go do some ice cream gameplay. Make that extra bit of money. I should be able to do that in one go with... Yeah, yeah, I'll definitely be able to do that in one go. And we'll find out how much it is. But regardless, the patch is fucked. And, you know, they said, you know, it's not, apparently not completely done, like, hostess stuff isn't done. But they, there's been, like, no news since, like, more than a year ago, when the patch came out. And there's still so many errors all over the place, and inconsistencies of the item names, it's very strange. Anyway, let's see how we do. I've gotten a lot of practice in this minigame. And yeah, you get more points if you get it right in the middle, and you get a cool rating, which doesn't matter very much in these early stages. But once you're stacking up more, you're getting like 100, 150 for it, stuff like that. It really matters hitting that middle point. Oh, perfect. Yeah, you get 300 there from the last step, which is really important. Uh, if you get a lot of those, you can it can make a really big difference in how much money you get at the end. We'll see how I do here. Ah, oh, fuck. Okay. It's hard, you know, if you manage to get in the blue on that last step, it's hard not to get a cool, which is nice. But it can happen. You've got a master timing. Mm-hmm. Nice. Nice. Okay, see, see, you can still not get one, and that's gonna hurt. That's a lot of missed money. I didn't pay attention to how much, how many points it gives you, but it will be noticeable le noticeably less. Uh oh. Oh no. 
Okay, lock in. Ah! Oh! oh, it's 300. I think it's five. It's, I thought it was 500 when you get a cool on that last one. Maybe it is. I, I don't know. Point is, we make the money. Fuck. Fuck! Keep going on the edges. My money. My ice cream money. Love when it stays in the same place. Oh, no. Shouldn't have said that. Oh. 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 I'm doing terrible now. I started off so strong. Okay. Ah. Uh. Okay. Okay. And... Yeah, see, you get 500 if you get a, a cool. Okay. Next Yakuza minigame. Does oh, fuck. Design it, shit. Get some ideas out there. Okay, okay. Um, I'm trying to think. I don't want to come up with an idea that I know is going to come up in a later game. But if, I've also got to think of something that is, like, fitting for the times. And would, like, be funny to see... A protagonist in that situation. Yeah, I know we're doing... I know we've got, like, an Uber Uber Eats equivalent in 8, so I can't do that. We've got, like, web chat stuff in later games, so I know we've got that. VTuber minigame. VTuber minigame. That can be a business, an entire business story for the next Yakuza game. We've got VTubers as canon in Yakuza as of the last game. They would. You know they would. And you could do it, it could be fairly similar to other mini games they've done before, where like you've gotta you've gotta pick the right dialogue. You know what would actually be funny? If they made it a pretty good approximation of VTubing, and they had it be like, you have to play a little mini game on a smaller screen, and your view is like what your OBS preview would be. So you see the model on the side. But I don't know, if it, it could be VTubing or it could just be regular streaming, you just have Kiryu in the corner with head gamer headphones on and a controller like hunched over either would be pretty funny and then you have to play i'd say you have to play the game and it's a fairly simple straightforward game whatever it is like a platformer or some basic driving game or something like that but then you've also got to respond to chat and then responding to chat would be like picking dialogue options in cabaret or like the the telephone club in zero that kind of thing and i don't know if you get enough right, maybe you can activate like a heat mode that is kind of like, kind of like how you get the fever in, um, in Cabaret Club Czar, but it's like getting a hype train on Twitch. No, this is, this is a good idea, actually. They should do this. RGG, get in contact. I'm willing to sell this idea. Ichiban starting a podcast would be funny. Yeah, yeah, that would be a good one. So I know they've got the, um, yeah, for, for more conversational stuff, they've got the... We saw a glimpse of it in Kiwami 2, but they didn't do much with it. But in 6, they have the whole, like, making friends and conversing with people at a, a particular bar. Um, in Onomichi, I think, or whatever. Um, you could do that. So you, like, have to... I don't know, maybe there's a, a specific NPC or you bring party members on for the podcast and you've got to do that kind of conversational minigame to keep it going. But that could work, but even if it wasn't a VTuber thing, I'd love to see a stream layout with Kiryu playing a game with him hunched over with headphones on, playing video game. That would be really funny. <laughs> I, I'd go in for that. Ichiban playing an MMO. Yeah! Ichiban would do really well at that minigame. He'd just he'd play through all the Dragon Quest and he'd tell you he'd tell you about all the interesting times in his life that have reminded him of Dragon Quest. That'd be sick. I'd I'd go in for that. I'd watch those streams, as a matter of fact. But yeah, Dra each man would only play Dragon Quest X. Oh, what? Annoyed voice? What's going on? Huh? Excuse me? What's happening? You were making the ice cream in there earlier, right? What? What is this? I'm lucky this didn't happen off stream, I guess. What about it? What do you want from me? Is yours the one that I didn't stack up to Legendary? Look at this caramel single that I just bought. I didn't make any singles. It's already completely melted. I want a refund. You're an idiot for leaving it to melt. You're supposed to eat it straight away. Hey, what kind of attitude is that towards a paying customer? This shop stinks. It's an attitude 
that is correct to have towards an idiot. I'll show you how to talk to customers. But yeah, no, Ichiban would be like a hyper-focused franchise genre streamer where he would primarily play Dragon Quest. Maybe he'd be a speedrunner. He'd like do a million different runs of the same Dragon Quest doing it in different ways, doing speed runs, and just showing every in and out of the game. That would actually be good. This has gone beyond joke territory now, to where it would be actually interesting. No, Ichiban's streaming anything I'd watch. I've not even played any of his games yet. I just already love him. I'll remember this, bitch! Okay. But no, I think that is my answer to the streamer minigame. That's you can. Thank goodness that you're okay. That guy's known around here as complainer. So I guess will he show up for every mini game past a certain point? He keeps doing the same thing at shops all around town to try and get things for free. I hope this will teach him a bit of a lesson. This isn't your pay. This is just a token of my appreciation. Thank you. Ooh, damn. Ten thousand for that. God damn. God damn. Thank you for the stretch as well, Muff. Ugh. Ooh, there we go, I've got some cracks in me. There we are. What if you paid Square Enix to include the entirety of the first Dragon Quest? That would be sick, honestly. I would love if they would do that. I doubt they would. And I don't I I don't know if, if Square would accept it. But that would be absolutely sick. And thanks for hanging out, Ma. Thank you, thank you. Have a good rest and good luck with college. Beating up the one star Yelpers, yeah. But yeah, that would that would be a good one for Ichiban. And like Ichiban learning how to stream and kind of discovering he has a knack for it because he just plays things that he's interested in. I would I would play that mini game. I think we've nailed it. I think we've landed on something. And my paycheck from RGG better be in the mail. It goddamn better be. But that's it's the kind of thing they would do. I think the, the reason I said VTubers is because there's a VTuber in 8. And they tend to try to, whether it's in the main story or in sub-stories or in new minigames, they try to kind of encapsulate the times. You know, like how these games have flip phones and we're going to have chat room stuff down the line. And it's just, they've, they've got it figured out. You know, they, they like doing that kind of thing. So, leaning more into streamer stuff and, and VTuber stuff would definitely be a thing to do. I could see it happening. Uh, where do I have to go? It's up here. Oh, goddammit. We're gonna add you as a card in the next remake. I'd go in for that. Make me a card in Kenzan Kiwami. The one game I haven't played. Or at least that I, you know, that we've passed in the timeline that I haven't played. Either it's gonna be either that or you know for remakes it's either gonna be that or Kiwami three. I don't know which one's worse. <laughs> That'd be fine. We could I could I would have the chance to go back in time into Yakuza three as an S rank card and save Mine. It's gonna be real interesting if they do do a Kiwami three as well, with the the now future knowledge that we have that Andre Richardson and, um, and Kashiwagi both survived that game. I wonder if they do anything with that. Can I add you in the Dead Souls remake? That'd be sick, actually. I'd go in for that. I get to I get to do more gun stuff, which is neat. God imagine if we got a Dead Souls remake. There's almost no chance. But it would be neat. It would be real interesting to see what they do. Regardless, they're definitely willing to experiment more. I have, I have enough. I have enough. Okay, so it is 50k. The, the patch is wrong. They just translated the number wrong somehow. It's Jackie. She's cute. I like it. Good hair. Oh. Oh. The florist too. Mm hmm. Yeah, she's very cute. She's not going to look nearly that good in Engine. Just like Saki. 
I guess so. It's drawn a bit of attention, though. But everyone knows you're that weird girl that keeps hopping jobs. And, like, you know, you quit a job in one place, you're not going to be able to get hired back there again. This doesn't seem like a sustainable plan. Unless she's going to pretend to be someone else. I just spent all my money getting in here. Fucking women, man. Oh. Man. I mean, that's a, a cutscene monetary exchange. That's not going to count against me, is it? Mm -hmm. Oh. ジョーホロエなんかにも相当な注意を払うことで有名だし、火災力だった数にはどう上階でも一部の人間でしか存在を知られなかったところもあったのよ。うん。ちくったってことか。そうね。それもかなり上層部の情報に触れる機会のある
あの時点ではまだ特別。ああ、リーリーグアート。そして戸田はその時も、クキが風俗店とかも情報警察に流し続けていた。オッケー。それがクキに言われてたな。そうだ、オールハップンドインデペンデントオブアス。フェイクキリ
It's just not worth doing. Oh, hey! <laughs> you don't mind me. Uh, I'm just going to save. It's just right there. He was standing there, staring at the door for... I mean, however long it took us to get back here. Just staring at the door in silence. You're late. What have you been doing? Literally nothing. The fuck? Don't go into other people's rooms without asking. Tatsuya, I need to show you something. Come with me. What the? Hmm. It's not like it. It's not like you own the place, Tatsuya. It's not really your room. It's got multiple beds. Hmm. <laughs> Has a lot happened? I've just been running around. Hmm. Is it Hugo again? Hmm. Yep. Well, he's he's gonna have trained. This is a this is a battle manga. He's gonna have new powers. All the hooers have been talking about his comeback. Yeah. We can sell the rivalry, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> I mean, we still don't know his style. He's, uh, he's an MMA guy, I think, right? Yeah, fuck off. Got in touch about what? You always gotta be so dramatic, Kuki. Hmm? Oh! What is, is, is this? Oh, that's Yuga! Oh, shit! Oh god, Jesus! Oh! He's kind of kicking ass. This is not what he was like before. He was all about the showmanship. Now he's going insane Oh, He always wanted a flashy finisher. Like he's gotten serious. This is some Epo shit. Like, oh, you end up seeing your opponent in the upcoming match and getting an, an, an idea about them. It's like mental warfare. The light and dark. Ooh, whoa! I was just going to say, it's like a really neat shot, and then they do that. Cutscenes are great. Mmm. Yeah. He was playing the part of a showman. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I'm glad we get more on him. He, it, it felt like they were setting him up as a long-term rival, but we fought him straight away, and then he fucked off for a bit. We didn't get, like, a good personal connection to him, like we did with the last few fights. Oh! Wait, the referee stopped his fight and killed the opponent? You mean the, the referee killed the opponent? Well, he's the referee. He's allowed to do whatever he wants. Like, you lost the fight too hard. You're not allowed to live anymore. Your living privilege privileges have been revoked. You always gotta stumble over my words, man. Mm. Yeah, he implied he, he lost it all, yeah. 
Yeah. He was just like, he was the champion before, before we came in. So maybe he was, yeah, he wasn't growing anymore. Mm. He was too content. He was stagnating. He has to get his hunger back, or he has gotten his hunger back after getting beaten. Mm. Sure, why not? Why are you so particular about it? Mm. I don't think he's an ally. Mm. I mean, I don't think he wants to specifically fuck you over. I think he just wants to use you as a tool. Looking forward to today's match. I hope you can win 10 in a row. Yes, I know. Hmm. Hugo, that pre-match warm-up. He wants to kill me. Better give it my all. Okay. <laughs> okay. And then just a bit cut off. Oh, here's a new thing. Yeah, new new sub story. Singular has appeared. Oh, it's the Death Corps again. Right. Ukyo Tatsuya. Got about the Death Corps. You're Ukyo Tatsuya, right? Sorry, but you're going to have to stay here and play with me for a while. Huh? Who are you? Get the hell out of my way. Shut up. You're fucking dead. Okay, level 12, Fujiwara. We'll, uh, we'll see how that goes, shall we? Do your best, okay? Cool mask wearing guy. There you go. Oh! He got invincibility during his, his cool charge move. We evaded mine. Oh shit! We grabbed each other. Ah! Fuck! Oh well, at least I got the heat. It's so weird, though, as... Like, it just seems inconsistent. Like, who will be and won't be good at those clashes. So sometimes you just win, and then sometimes you can't. Even with Turbo. No, 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 no. Nah, you're getting one of these now. Right in the dick. <laughs> Immaculate. Oh, too early. I'm so bad at the timing. Oh, no. Oh, what? He got that for free. Bunch of bullshit. There we go. Fuck off, you. I got a fight coming up. I was going to say, I can't be dealing with you when I'm thinking about Hugo, but I'm always going to do some stories first. So. Get this crap out of my bag. Out of my inventory. Ugh. Who the hell are you? <laughs> you don't know? Huh? You trying to piss me off? I'll give you another beating. Shit, I'm Fujiwara, one of the four heavenly kings of Death Corps. Death Corps has a four heavenly kings now? Four heavenly kings? What is this, some kind of anime? <laughs> we work directly under Kurodasan. There are four of us, so they call us the four heavenly kings. <laughs> this is all Kuroda's doing again. What a bastard. We had a special meeting today. We were told to hold you back until the meeting was over. So if I head over to Children's Park right now, I'll find that bastard Kuroda. How do you how do you know that we meet at Children's Park? It doesn't matter. Will Kuroda be there? Well, maybe, but you'll have to get through the rest of the four Heavenly Kings first. Huh. If there anything like you, won't be a problem. You... You can stop Kuroda-san. What? Honestly, there are some in the gang that don't agree with Kuroda-san's way of doing things. Yeah, he's a bastard. He doesn't trust others in the gang and only sees them as pawns. It's frustrating, but we can't win against Kuroda-san. They'll just tear us to pieces. If you and Kuroda-san were to duke it out, maybe things could be different. Yeah, you feel just not up and fight me for a change. 
Fujiwara, shut the hell up. Tokito? I'm Tokito, the four heavenly kings in Death Court. You're gonna be here for a while, Ukyo. You here to do Kuroda's bid bidding as well? How lame. Whatever, bring it. All right, I, I, I was worried maybe we were gonna have to fight three heavenly kings at the same time, but I guess not. Two at most now. Ooh, nice dodge. Yes, I need to do the circle one more. I keep I keep forgetting that there is a circle uh, for the grab as well. Just just for variety of moves, really. He's not very aggressive, this Heavenly King. So many attacks to the nuts in this style. Nice. There you go. Give him a bit of a pummeling. Closing in on level. Good style proficiency. Yeah, we'll have to see where we end up XP-wise before the, the fight with Hugo. I might switch to another style so we can get the most out of the XP. Because that will probably get way... If we, go into, if we were to go into it now, we'd probably get more than 800 style XP, I think. I don't remember what I've been getting before, but it's a lot. So a lot of that would be wasted. You wanna, you don't want it to cap off in one of those fights. I could use uh, one of my more advanced ones. Ugh. Heh. <laughs> I won't be beaten by guys like you. Maybe you will be able to stop Kuroda-san. We've been through this. What the hell's going on? Do you guys really not want to follow Kuroda anymore? Like, no one does. I see. I'm going to find your leader and give him what he deserves. What? I'm also pissed at Kuroda. I'll mess him up so bad he won't even be able to stand up. Well, there are still two more heavenly kings within Death Core. They're a lot stronger than us. Talk is cheap. I'll find out if they really are that much stronger. I imagine they won't be. It should be at Children's Park. Today is Judgment Day for Kuroda. Hell yeah. Clear 50 sub stories. We're a little under halfway because there's more than 100. <laughs> ah, but yeah, that, um, yes, we can go to Children's Park right now. Uh, should top off on health. I guess we'll stop in at the Matsuya. That'll do fine. But goddamn. Yeah, I do like that, uh, you get sub stories opening up, not just at the start of every chapter, but partway through each chapter as well. And that one was specifically placed for us to immediately be able to find it after the story event where it unlocked. God, you, your bowls are not filling, Matsuya. This is a bad advertisement. Good God. But yeah, it keeps things... Uh, you know, it, it forces me to spread some of the sub-stories out because I will, as soon as there is a sub-story, I will go and do it before doing any other story thing. After what happened with Akiyama and Yakuza 4. I'm not fucking with that again. Oh, hello. Alright then, if you say so. I do want the XP. Maybe we can max out Karate before the Hyuga fight. There we go. Yeah, and then we'll just have one other style to level uh, at this point. Oh, fuck. Shit. The turbo didn't save me. And then hopefully we'll get more unlocked relatively soon. And we'll we'll keep moving at a modest pace. That's our limited right now on our insanity. Is how far in the story we've gotten. Because once we get more of those base, uh, base styles unlocked, we'll be able to make more combinations. And the more combinations we have, the, the closer we'll be to actually uh, unlocking the highest level styles. The extreme styles. Which I'm really excited about. They're hopefully going to be sick. They seem sick from my research. But that can only tell me so much. I need to wield the styles in my hands. You're a cardman. Yeah, you're a cardman. Hello. Thank you. Yeah. Can I, like... Can I look at which ones I have? Check my collection? Or does that have to be in the completion list? I can't... 
can't do anything with those, like, in the inventory, right? Yeah, the trading cards. We just have a trading card. That's all it says, so... Hmm. Maybe I would have to check at home or something. On the completion list. Hello. There's Kuroda back there. Ukiyo Tatsuya! How did you know to come here? Because you have terrible upset, bro. That must mean you messed up Fujiwara and Tokito. I mean, I could have just beaten one of them. You don't know that. I don't give a crap. Get Kuroda out here. I know he's around. He's literally right there. You can see him. <laughs> and how do you suppose that? He's right there. We could take you. Kuroda doesn't have to answer to punks like you. All right. I'll fight with you guys first. Let's just get this over with. You can stop talking, you know. It ain't too late. I'm gonna make you beg for death. Uh, we'll see. Level four. Uh, level fourteen is like the strongest individual enemy that we fought, and there's two of them. But I'm level twenty-two. There's always that butt at the end. Nice hair, bro. Another one for you. Love the grab chain. Oh, I wanted to I wanted to catch. Let me catch. Oh, no, I I shouldn't even bother. Fuck catching. It's too inconvenient. It can't be done. It's impossible. I I with the right style geared towards it to have the the benefits then yeah. You can do it. But otherwise, no. They are fairly beefy compared to uh, their fellow... Their fellow kings. Health's okay. Oh shit, he caught that! God damn. Wish it were that easy for me. No, not you. One at a time. One at a time. Nice! Good dodge. Nice. And he's weak, so I'm not going to use the heat move on him. I'll use it on you right now. There you go. Efficiency. Right in the cock. Okay, now he's dead. Yeah, he was one hit. The good thing I didn't use that on him. Oh, fuck. He caught it. Oh, shit. Yeah, but I caught it. Haha. <laughs> Fuck. Fuck! He's good at dodging. My health's okay. Hmm. Fairly quick short range attacks on this guy. I'm trying to... I'm, I'm getting nervous trying to dodge. Fuck! It's so awkward though. <laughs> okay, we got red heat. Come here. Another one in the day. That's two he's eaten. Gotta have left him relatively low, I expect. Nice dodge. Yeah, he's just gonna hold on that. Got no reason not to. Guarding charge moves is free. Come here, come here. I'll hit you with a third heat move. In the dick again. There you go. The triple dick gambit. Classic maneuver. Mm, not bad XP. Not great XP. Not bad XP. Some some money. Oh, look how he fell over. Oh, he just smashed his head on the pavement of how fast he was going. Oh, no. S stupid. You guys were too weak. Looks like I can go through. Looks like I can go through. There you go. You're Kuroda, right? I finally found you. What the hell did you have against me? Yeah, right. He had some mysterious grievance like almost everyone in every sub-story in this game. Ukyo Tetsuya. I knew you wouldn't remember. Huh? What are you on about? My name is Kuroda Tojo. In junior high, I was in your class. Kuroda Tojo? Wait. Oh, it's you. You were short and fat, right? 
I guess it makes sense you didn't recognize him. No wonder I didn't recognize you. You moved away during the first summer holidays, didn't you? You may have forgotten, but I've always remembered. Huh? Why, though? As soon as I came to high school, you pointed out how short I was. You made me a laughing stock. Oh, no. He's embarrassed about being a manlet. That's all it ever was. He's Napoleon. Did I say that? After you stopped, the others kept going, so I had to move schools. I'll never forget. Even if you get on your knees and beg, I will never forgive you. If it wasn't for you and that damn school, nothing would have gone wrong. So, it's revenge? That's what you want out of all this? Ever since I moved to that new school, I've been making sure that no one could fuck with me ever again. That's why I was happy to see you in Camarocho. I finally have the chance to get revenge on you. Hmm. You haven't changed at all, you little fat prick. You're such a pussy. Ooh. You. Don't you dare say that, you bastard. Damn. Oh. Even you can't handle this many guys. Now die. <laughs> That's why I brought so many heels. What a coward. Oh. Huh? Oh, that was a Kagi. Uh, that was uh, Kuroda. You're a Kagi. Ukyo, it's time I paid you back. Yeah, this is the guy who leads the cool gang that let that guy go get a job because his, his mom was sick. Oh. What? I didn't know you were part of this substory chain. 15 people each. You and me. We can handle this. There, there are not 15 people here. Right. Thanks. Don't worry about it. I owed you one. Let's go. What a cool guy. All right, guess we're fighting 15 men then. We can do that. It'll be, you know, we can only fight three guys at a time. Oh, oh, right. We've not had the ally mechanic show up because it's supposed to be mostly a co-op thing. I didn't know it had, it showed up in non-co-op scenarios. Yeah, press something. Yeah, I guess press X. The X migrated all the way to the right. Press X when an aura appears around them to unleash a two-way hit. Oh, right. Like a two-person heat move. There are many strong combinations, so try them all out. Okay. It's like when they have heat. And they are actually in the fight. I thought it would just be... You know, the numbers I would fight would be reduced. Because he's here. But he hasn't done anything yet. Oh, nice! Oh, well. If I'd gotten the, the movement from that, that would have been good. Because he opened up his guard for me. Yeah, I can't really get a grab on this guy. Nice little take aggro, though. Fuck. Yeah, we still... It's usually three enemies at a time. So we might get... More spawning. But yeah, we got him. They're just spawning in one by one. I'll use one of my heals. And yeah, that doesn't leave me at full. So that's perfect. Ah, two at a time. I don't think we've seen this happen before. Yeah, let's beat the... Sh oh, no, I can, I can hit my friend. Friendly fire is a thing. Fuck. I fucked up my leg. My leg. Here we go. Red heat on you. Right in the cock. Lovely. Oh, and he's done. Cool. Oh, yeah. Having an ally makes it that much easier. God damn. It's like summoning in Dark Souls. Just... You take the aggro away. Makes it that much easier. Nope, you get a heat move. I think you were weakened anyway, so that probably does him. Yep, he's done. This will be easy. I assume we'll get our buddy here for Kuroda as well. What is this? Fucking... What's his name? Uh, Jimmy from... Uh, is it Jimmy from Bully? The main character of Bully. Almost looks like him. Hello. How would you like a heat move, sir? Why do I do the charge like that? It's it's never correct. Don't do that. Oh, I can't catch. For the life of me, I cannot catch. I'm pressing the button. I'm pressing it. It's so awkward. I need to get it figured out. I just have to press them at the same time. You can't hold one and then press the other. 
It has to be perfectly timed press. Oh, got him. Okay. It just has to be perfect, but it's hard to do that. Look at the guy with the the with the, with the whatever you call that haircut, Mohawk. Look at him. Oh, nice. Look at that guy. Hey, you can have a heat move, sir. I pressed it. It's always when I... Like, if I'm doing it outside of a fight when I know it won't land... Then it's... You know, I, I, I will be able to do it. But if it's actually in a fight and I see a move coming, I will not be able to press the button. I did it! Bro, I fucking did it, though. Why is it so bad? I hope this gets improved in two. Maybe they just change the button entirely. I'd appreciate that. Just put it on a single button or make the make the input better. Increase the frames in which I can do it. I hit Akagi again. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it, buddy. That's it. Heat move for you. Just working through the chaff like a farmer in his fields. Hey, he's done. You're about to be done. Soon. Yeah, dodging is easier because, I mean, you do have to press the direction, but it's only one button and the direction can just be held and then dodge whenever. So it's basically one button. Why is why is all the duos coming out? Why are they color matched? That's why we had one, like a set of blue, a, a set of black just. Now we've got a set of green. What is this? Like Kuroda united all the color gangs or something. Okay, he's done. I got the input, but then he just didn't do an attack. Oh, fuck. Sorry, I got heat off you, Akagi. I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah, he's done. My weapon. We gotta run out of guys soon. Well, now these guys aren't color-coordinated, just after I said it. No, no, come here then. Come, no, you're getting a yellow heat move, I'm afraid. Breaking my god. Would you... Would you give me an opening? There you go. It's off. Had about enough of you, sir. Hey, you're done. You can, you can have a heat move. Surely you're receptive to heat moves. See, sometimes using a charge move when they're getting up works. It's just not something you can rely on. Anyone? See, now there's two guys... Well, two guys in black, but this guy's also got blue. But there was some color matching going on. Unified color theory. There's something to it, I tell you. Oh, fuck. I better get a lot of XP from this. This is a whole lot of bullshit. Also, yeah, uh, Akagi hasn't glowed once. We've, there's not been an opportunity for any of those duo heat moves. I don't know what's going on there. Maybe he needs to get more hits in to build heat. And I've just been doing everything, pretty much. Oh, God. Uh, my health is okay. He's done. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. You could just spawn them immediately. That would be fine. So many men. I've lost count. I, I wasn't really counting in the first place, but I'd, I'm definitely beyond counting now. No amount of mathematics can save me from this. Oh, a cock. I know I'm the one doing all the dick hits, but enough with the dick hits.
Here we go. Break his arms. This will probably kill. I mean, I did a bit of wailing to him. No, not quite. Oh, it took one hit. I was close. And that guy's dead. My wounds are building up. But I'm okay. <sighs> More of you fuckers. Do they just vat grow goons for these gangs now? Because it's truly a million. Hold on. I Hold on. I have to cough. One sec. Oh, I felt it coming. I had to mute. Uh, let me just have a coolant real quick. One sec. It's an endurance battle. Got to keep hydrated for it. It's going to be nice to be able to kick again. Once I'm not using this style. Please free me. Because kick styles is all we've been using today. The one that we... The one that we got to level 3 in max. That was a kick style. Oh, what? What happened to one at the... Two at a time, rather? What happened? If we took too long? You're done. Yeah, thinking about it. We haven't run out of stamina in ages. <laughs> Maybe I don't need to prioritize leveling it. When I do... Uh, next time I do... Level my stats. Come here. You've seen me do this to every one of your friends. Yeah, there you go. So line up and get it. Fucking hell. Only used one heal, though. Oh, and we get a level, so I'm fully restored. <laughs> Fuck all those injuries. They're gone now. <laughs> and karate is maxed. Yeah, they did give me a lot of XP. Oh, now it gives us more max health. Oh, cool. That's an interesting, uh, interesting change. I can tell the bar is bigger. And a bunch of money, wow! Value, value, value. This is a good sub-story. Ugh! Tch, useless bricks! Can't fucking trust anyone! Come on, little fatty! Well, it's only you left now. What are you gonna do? Fuck! Fuck! Ukyo, I'll kill you! Then do it! Oh, I bumped the mic, sorry. Do it! Ukyo, this is your fight. You finish it. Yeah, no 2v1. Fair enough. Got it. Bring it, little fatty. Come and get me. He loves using that. He shouldn't have given it away. Level 15. But I'm also maxed out. And I'm going to switch over to... Yeah, military Kenpo is the only one left to do, right? Yeah. And it's punching power up. No downsides. Let's go. I'm going to punch you so hard, you motherfucker. Been looking forward to this. Yeah, we haven't used this style much yet. It's not even leveled once. Yeah, nice quick punches. I liked this style, I remember. We gotta try our dodges. Get our auto step. Oh, too early. Fuck, and I didn't even try and do it. Oh god, nice catch. No, way too early. At least I was able to block into that. Oh, he loves catching that. I gotta stop doing that, then. Yeah, it's very short range. That's the thing. But quick. Oh, fuck. He broke through my guard. I swear I was guarding. Stop that. You can't beat my turbo. Oh, he can fucking dodge, though. No, he just always catches that. That's three out of three. Gotta just stop. Okay. Bring it, bring it. Okay, don't bring it then. Whatever. Okay, yeah, just hold on to your pole if that's what you want. Fine. I don't care. Fuck, I don't know if I can dodge after I've been hit like that. Like, I don't know if you can escape a combo. Okay. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Why is it always accidental? I can never do it on purpose. No. 
What? How didn't that hit? What the hell was that, bro? Building my heat. There it is. Fuck you. He seems weak. He was just kind of... Yeah, there you go. He was in a an exhausted pose. Damn. Didn't need to use any heals. I thought he was, he was tough, but I thought he'd be stronger than that. Stamina and XX and 20k. Getting my shmoney back. Ugh. Hmm? Shit! Shit! Why? Why this guy? Come on, little fatty. You can do it. Don't call me by that name. I'm... I'm... You're right. You're not a little fatty anymore. Kuroda Togo. That's not his name, it's Tojo! I'm sorry about high school. I didn't realize it hurt you like that. Yeah, you could have just asked and said, you know, talked to him instead of all this shit. I thought you were a friend. I didn't think you'd take it like that. I didn't realize you hated it so much. I'm sorry. Why is Tad see you so nice all of a sudden? He's He's got a switch, I swear to God. He can either be a complete dick or a really nice guy. Nothing in between. Don't just apologize after all this time. You have no idea how I even feel. Yeah, you're right. I'm still sorry, though. Fuck. Fuck! Kuroda, it's Ukyo's fault for bullying you, but you got this many people to help you out. Pretty cowardly. <laughs> yeah. Talk shit on him more. No, GG game. It would not surprise me if the Tojo was a typo. It might have been, actually. Yeah, because I was going to say, like, damn, is he... Uh, does he have something to do with the Tojo? But there, there aren't, like, any Tojos in the Tojo clan ever. So maybe it was just supposed to be Togo and they fucked it up the first time? I mean... You say in an RGG game, but it's mostly, you know, this is an unofficial localization translation patch, whatever. Um, and they've had a lot of really bad mistakes throughout the entire game so far. Don't be surprised, including, like, the amount of money I need to progress the story. They just give me the wrong number. How do you translate the number wrong? It's insane. Yeah, before you stop blaming others, you need to take a look at yourself. Damn you. Hey, Kuroda. Don't worry, I won't mess with you anymore. I'll start over from scratch. Hmm. Oh, is it going to be his right hand guy? I still have friends who care about me. Oh, Shido. Yeah, Shido. Don't get me wrong. I haven't forgiven you. I'm just tired of this stupid ass bullshit. Yeah, sure. Got it. Akagi. Sorry about the inconvenience. Don't worry about it. I'm just here to pay you back. Next time, we'll actually fight each other. You're welcome to try, but you won't beat me. Heh. <laughs> Until then. Yeah, Kagi's a good guy. 1000 XP! Kuroda defeated. Nearly dead. But that's good XP. Uh, and, and good, good leveling. Good stuff, good stuff. Uh, why do I want to go to heal? My, yeah, I just got healed of my injury, so I'm good there. So, hmm. There's no eateries up here. We need we need more businesses. God damn. Uh, yeah, that's it for sub stories for the time being. So, let's uh, yeah, just press on. I will. I'll limp my way. I mean, I'm definitely gonna get into a fight along the way, though. No doubt about that. Maybe I'll be able to avoid them, but I am very slow. But if I can save a healing item, then all the better. Ah! Thank God he's slow. Not gonna get that lucky forever, though. I feel like we're in for at least two or three more encounters before we make it to Matsuya. It's like you could use it as an actual user, uh, a unit of physical measurement. Like how many... Oh, hello. Cardman. Uh... How many how many fights away is the nearest Matsuya? Like I would say that on a GPS. Five fights away from my destination. Well, that was one. It's got to be coming up. Like we're past due. Running man. I'm not really running. I'm more limping. But sure. Yeah, there were no more fights. What happened? Maybe it is because I'm weak, and they secretly do have that mechanic, the uh, the mechanic that I want, but it has no. It doesn't have the physical face bruising that I wanted.
dynamic real-time face bruising technology. Real-time depression. Burger steak. 4K burger steak. All right. So back to the story. Uh, are we just up to fight Hugo just immediately next? I think that's what we're doing, that right? Yep. Let's go to the locker room. Fight Hugo. Hell yeah. I'm prepared. I want. I want the XP for my, for my style, please. Yeah, 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 yeah. Really hate when the ambient the ambient sound cuts out. It's so awkward and uncomfortable. There we go. All right. Uh, I'll just save. You never know. It's a good idea to lock in. And I assume we'll be right on to the next chapter after this. We spent a fair bit of time in chapter 6 here. Nope, get me out. Because we started it last time. That whole uh, chase bit that we did uh, at the end of last stream. That was that was the start of chapter 6. So we've done a lot. It's gotta be. Are you okay? Are you ready for the match against Hugo? I'm ready. Yes, I'm ready. I'm going to crush Hugo. Don't underestimate him. He's like a different person. If you're worried about being killed, please don't step into that ring. That's your best advice? I don't have a choice in this. I have to fight. It's better than dying, right? I know it's not helpful, but just don't die, okay? Nivelle, awkward and uncomfortable. That was my nickname in high school. High school? I thought that was your nickname now. But hi, Val. Boss said he'll take over for me today. He said he'll come by later. Got it. I'll go change. Fuck you. <laughs> Got him. Get absolutely owned. Oh, hey, Tizan. Tatsuya, are you ready? Yeah, I'm okay. It's pretty rare for you to come see me before a match. It's... Come on, let's go. Everyone's so worried about me. We might lose. I don't know what's going to happen with the story if we lose our win streak, but it could happen. I thought the first fight uh, against Hugo we were going to lose, so it could be this one. Oh, what is going on? Is that Chiaki? Oh, shit. It is. You can tell from her good hair. Fuck. I knew she was going to get caught. I hope it isn't our fault for going to her. He had access to Hill. It is, it is really fun. Uh, you can play it on uh, your PSP emulator of choice. Um, that's the easiest way to go about it. And the uh, the patching process is pretty straightforward. And it's stable. Like no crashes or anything. So definitely give it a try. It is really good. Uh, I, I can't compare it to Def Jam because I haven't played any of the Def Jams. But it's by the same people. But yeah, definitely give it a go. It's good. It's got a good story, and I enjoy the gameplay. It's all I could ask for from a Yakuza game. Come on, Hugo, you motherfucker. His eyes are in darkness. What lies behind that shadow? Yeah, remember when we kicked his ass? Will they? He is ripped. Jesus, his proportions. I, oh, what the fuck? He's a Left 4 Dead tank. Why is he so buff? Jesus Christ. Only way you get to play him is an emulator as well. You got it. You, oh, 50, 50. Go ahead and do that then. It's worth it. Looks like a fucking tank. Mm. But also, if you do, if you do want to get into, you know, like PSP games and playing them less than legitimately, might be worth get, you know, looking into getting a Vita because Vitas are pretty good and they've got, it, you know, it's got its own games too. But you can also play PSP stuff on there. It's nice. Me when the backy character enters Hajime no Ipo. Yeah, yeah. Like we, we tend to lean towards realism in this game, but he's so buff. We'll see if that's actually reflected in his in-game model, or if he's just the same. Mm. Focus. 
Mm-hmm. All right, let's go. They sounded the gong. Uh, I mean, I don't remember what he looked like before. He definitely looks buff. Not like as buff as he was in that cutscene or anything. I should just uh, do, do a bit of a save just in case. You never know. I'm pretty good about that today, though. I don't understand you, Saki. You're not subtitled. Oh, he's pretty big. He's pretty huge. Jesus Christ. Yeah, he's very large. Theoretical question. Who could beat Yujiro that isn't the typical answer like Saitama and Goku? Well, Kiryu could. Because Tiger Drop uh, negates all damage. We know that. No, it's the punching style. Don't be kicking. My God, he's aggro. Oh, my. Okay. There we go. Good dodge. Good dodge. Kiryu definitely could. I don't know if Majima could. I feel like Majima might lose. No, Majima would probably lose. Uh, aside from that, I don't know. Who's like a good... You know, I could list any number of characters that would certainly lose, you know? It's finding the interesting matches. That's where it's at. Oh, fuck. Oh, the music's popping off. No grabbing me, sir. Nice dodge! Oh, fuck. Rayleigh's Kanalki capable of beating Goku? Yeah, Ray oh, well, obviously a Rayleigh could. You know, again, like, obviously a Rayleigh would win because a Rayleigh's, like, the strongest character ever. Oh, fuck! You got a free grab. Fuck. But yeah, like, a, Ray a Rayleigh versus Yujiro would be really fun, because you know, you know Yujiro would make some really funny faces fighting a Rayleigh. I would, I would like to see that one, even though I know a Rayleigh would win. There we go. Like, the majority of characters, I would say, would lose to Yujiro, because he is that fucking insane. He's stronger than a, a country, you know? Oh, st oh, maybe I should have stayed down. Ah, oh, okay, we're good. Yeah, get him from behind. Nice. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Um, okay. For a few more hits, at least. No, I should heal. I should heal. Need you, Jiro, to fight someone goof to fuck. Exactly. Like, it needs to be... I, you know, either someone who just has something that's so broken that you can't get around it, like Kiryu with the tiger drop, or someone who is who only has cartoon logic applied to them. Could Cophead beat Yujiro? That's an interesting one. Maybe. Probably. I don't know. Maybe, yeah, probably. Oh God. Oh yeah, he's got me. He's got me in the clutch. Oh. I don't know. Who else is, like, really goofy? Oh! How about, um... Well, he's not really much of a fighter, but it... Like, characters who make the world around them more goofy. First thing that came to mind. Hildebrand Mandeville. From Final Fantasy XIV. Would Hildebrand beat Yujiro? How tall is Cophead? He's very small. He's smaller... Well, I mean, the... The bosses are pretty big. I guess he... He, f he fits in size-wise with other people in his society, but I assume he's small. Oh, bot! Kill, kill, kill the bot. But I don't know, I could see Yujiro as being basically like a head with hands boss in the background of a, of a boss fight, and he's just doing insano shit to you. You probably could just do that in, in canon if you wanted to. He could grow really big. Yujiro could grow to Ultraman size if he wanted. I bet he could. We got him low. I've been doing pretty good with the dodges here. I guess because he attacks so much, there's so many opportunities for it. Nice. Yep, just stay away from those. The strategy remains the same. Oh, fuck. Oh, no, I'm got... You gotta, you gotta be real away, though. Oh, he's still, he's doing another one. Fuck me. I, I didn't have time to escape it. 
My head is destroyed. Oh, no. He's real tough. He's definitely tough. I imagine how I'd be doing if I wasn't overleveled. I didn't pay enough attention to what his level was. He does a lot of damage, though. He's making me go through my stock. Nice! Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in the schmix. There's no escaping the schmix once you're in. Doman, maybe? Maybe? I mean, any, you know... I think, yeah, if you're going for people who would, like, stand a serious chance without being a joke character, I think you need to look into super robot protagonists. Like, could S Simone Gurren Lagann win? Maybe, probably, yeah. I probably could. Like, with the... Oh, that's so much! Oh, fuck yeah. Hell yeah. Like, could... Could any... Could any of the... You know, Ma could, like, Mazinger win? Probably, maybe? Mm, I think Mazinger would be closer. But, like, you know, Sh Shin Geta Armageddon type shit, mm, it would be more of an even match, I think. But it's fun that we have to go to that level of strength to find a match for Yujiro, you know? Don't want to find a way to bullshit it. <laughs> Much as would say it was... Uh, uh, yeah, I need, to, I need to actually watch that, because I haven't. Uh, oh, more kicking power, too! And I got a grab attack. That's good. I like military Kenpo. Yeah, definitely switch to that. So much XP. So much money! Hell yeah! Mm -hmm. Oh! They're siblings! Oh! There's more going on here. I guess that's why she knew about the matches as well. And maybe got to be here before because of a connection to him. Hmm. Hmm. Could Gunbuster beat Yujiro? Probably. Probably. Hmm. It would be close. But again, it's like, I could picture, I can picture Yujiro beating a mech. He totally could. Mazinger has the ability to end up uh, being Mazin Kaiser, at which point you have universe level destruction. Yeah. If Koji's got the keys, he can, but he's not much of a fighter on his own. Yeah, if we're talking like pilots of mechs, then yeah, like they need to have the mech. They need to be at their full personal strength. Or else Yudro is just going to pop their heads off like a cork. Yeah, I kicked ass. <clears throat> Gridman? I still haven't watched Gridman. Yeah, I feel like this is the arena where you can find the most contenders. Super Robot. Could Yujiro beat Godzilla? Which Godzillas could Yujiro beat? Now there's a good question. I don't know. I feel like, you know, regeneration comes into play then. But Yujiro's probably not going to run out of energy. He might give up. I feel like that's the way to beat Yujiro. If he just gets bored and leaves, if you can count that as a win, I think you can beat Yujiro that way. If you've got a character who can regenerate endlessly, like some Godzillas. Maybe, maybe. Other kaiju that don't have that benefit, though. Like, Mothra would get folded, I'm afraid. And Gyrus Rodan. The Jabbers would get folded. Ah. Oh. What? You lost fair and square, you fucker. Anyway, teach me your style. I want to go as hard as you just did. What? Oh. Hugo's been lied to. And is that why he was fighting like a man possessed? He thought his sister was dead and it had something to do with us? On this? Ah, I see. Hmm. Hmm. 
Mm. I wonder if with mm, Joe Amon versus Yujiro got the orb to laser, that would do work, but you, uh, I feel like Yujiro would be able to get to him before he could pop it off. I feel like Yujiro, I feel like Yujiro beats the entire Amon clan, but not Kiryu. Yeah, there's some interesting matchups to consider. Yeah, like, yo, like, could you beat Yujiro is such a, such uh, an interesting question compared to like, oh, could they beat Goku? Or could they beat Superman, you know? Because they're too strong. But Yujiro's ridiculously strong, but he is still base pretty much human. He's in an interesting power bracket, you know? Could Yujiro beat the most busted Salty Bat characters? Mm. But I'm thinking about the Cophead fight again. Like, the, the Cophead matchup. And I'm like, there's that one clown boss in Cophead that, like... I don't know. The, he does a thing when he dies. Because he turns into, like, the center pole of a merry-go-round. Uh... And when he dies, it's like gross and wheezing and falling apart. Like it's made of weird fucked up muscles. I feel like Yujiro could do something like that and change his form. Like a cuphead boss phase change. <laughs> I feel like you could do that. Could Yujiro beat Nekoark? Yeah, that, that's another one where it's like weird cartoon logic that gives them the edge. I think that would... I don't, I don't know the full extent of Nekoark's strength. But I feel like that would be an interesting matchup for sure. That's a good one. Yeah. It's philosophy. Yeah, he was fighting for you. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I think your best bet for beating your Yujiro is making him bored. Right. It's like you you either need to be so strong that it isn't an interesting fight and you just blow him up. Like you destroy the planet that he's on. Or you have cartoon logic, so you can get around his strength and bypass it. Or you, you're just so resilient or regenerative that you can just out, outlive him. I mean, you could outlive him and just he could keep fighting you until he dies of age, or he could just get bored and not, uh, not enjoy fighting you anymore. Those are the ways I think you beat Yujiro. Yeah, we got six. We're past the halfway point now. Oh? There's something else going on with the Promise of Ten? Oh. Yeah, it's you. This guy, whose name I've forgotten, but we've seen him a few times. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! Oh! oh. Oh! Oh shit! Oh, damn. Kuki ate shit! Oh no! I thought he was gonna be like a secret badass, even with his cane. They let him get away?! Damn it. He's not dead, is he? What is that? That looks like... It's a... Is it a napkin or some such? Is it supposed to be planted evidence, or... Have we got someone with a grudge here? Hmm. The incident! Yeah, he got brained. I don't know what he was holding that he dropped. Was it like a glass or shards of glass? Hmm. Is he alive? Fucking the like gunshot and the switch of the portrait is goofy. You don't know? No one, there were people in the office, no one saw him, they let him get away. 
So incompetent. Hmm, this feels like a setup. This is incredibly in your favor. But he got plugged in the brain. I, I don't know. We, it was off screen, so it's hard to say. The frame job are actually supposed to be our hint. I don't know. I mean, it looked like it was a light shade of pink, so it's I supposed to, it's supposed to be implying it's some lady, whether it's a a framing or an actual hint. I don't know. We don't know that many women. It could be. If it's going to be any of the lady characters, I suspect the uh, Hugo's hostess girlfriend. Because she's the most suspicious and we don't know her that well. Oh. Nice haircut. <laughs> it's, it's very similar haircut to Tatsuya. Oh. Mm -hmm. Oh, he doesn't look as similar when he turns around like that. Oh. Just, uh, so many people have mysterious grudges against Tatsuya. And Tatsuya doesn't know anything about it. I mean, this guy, it might be for the orphans. Who knows? It's probably he's desperate for something like that rather than revenge. Yeah, it's, it seemed like more of a grudge thing, what he said. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. So many mysteries. Hmm. Guess we'll find out. Can't believe that Kuki was attacked. Must mean it wasn't Kuki who was trying to frame me. I mean, does it? I mean... I don't know. I don't know about that. If I don't figure it out, they'll blame me for attacking Kuki. Will they? Just, just, it's just because his guys are so incompetent, they didn't just catch him. Oh, God. Oh, sorry. I'll have to find the culprit myself. Better head to Camarocho. I mean, you're in Camarocho. You just need to leave the building. Oh, hello. Ugh. Ukyo Tetsuya. You did this to the boss, didn't you? Don't jump to conclusions. It wasn't me. If it were Tetsuya, would he still be here? Like, after that? What? Would he have just gone back to, like, his bunk? Not just left? We'll just have to make you admit it by force, then. Yeah, that always works. Level 10! How embarrassing for you. That's alright, fodder. Become my XP. Yeah, I shouldn't complain. I want story fights, because they always give good XP. Yeah, there's no, there's no downside to this. It said we got, like, new grab attack. I don't know what that actually means. I don't know if any of these are actually new, you know? It's odd. No, put that down. Keep going for the kick when they're down. I mean, we do have, uh, we do have a, a buff to kick damage now, I think, on this style, right? Or was that karate? I don't remember. <laughs> it's all blending together. Regardless, XP. Yeah, look at that! See? So much XP. Why we save our styles for the story. You better brace yourself, kid. We won't let this go. Again, I'm just here. Why would I remain basically at the scene of the crime? Shit. This ain't good. Hmm. Just talk to someone with a lick of sense. What are we... Are we, are we just leaving? Yeah. Oh, you know what? Uh, do I? Oh. Oh! Oh, is that what the, the, the guy dropped? The attacker? So it was a framing. Hmm. Yeah, what is that? That's what we saw. Whose handkerchief is that? Hmm. Yeah, but why would I stick around if I did? Oh, they're too dumb. They're too dumb. 
This is why Kuki got attacked in the first place, because these guys are so fucking stupid. They don't make goons smart enough these days. Ah, oh, too early. No. He's got faster grabs. Oh, no. Quick garden, you, you piece of shit. You piece of shit, yeah. I meant what I said. I stick by it. Oh, I didn't didn't mean to actually dodge that move in particular, but whatever. Oh, he's dead. All right, next one, next man, please. I got a bottle for you. Oh, he was taunting. Oh shit, he took it. All right, since I know this is a maybe a long battle, well, whatever this game. It's this game's equivalent of a long battle. Having multiple men flowing in. I know that uh, a blue heat move is pretty much going to be enough. Yeah, I figured he had to be close, so I didn't want to waste it. Hopefully more XP again. I do like that punch. It's nice. Comes out real quick. Hey, okay. Just a few guys. A short battle, you might say. Ooh, nearly a level, but plenty of XP. Lovely. Yeah, hopefully we get a new style soon. This is the last one we've got a level. We're in a new chapter, so there's good chances. I guess we check in with the, the interview guy in Theater Square. See if there's anything new there. That'll tell us. Mm, mm. Yeah, it's like someone, seemingly someone on the inside or close enough to Kuki and all this stuff to know the whole deal with Tatsuya and, and Kuki's hold on him. Hmm. I don't know who it could be. Can't believe I've been set up again. This is fucked. I need to find out who did this. How can I do this, though? I can't move out in the open and I can't ask the florist. He asked for too much money. Damn it. I'll ask Tenma. He has some weird connections. Yeah. Beep. We haven't seen Tenma all day. Oh, Tetsuya. It's rare for you to call. Yeah, yeah. So, Tenma, can you do me a favor? Look for Takanaka. Yeah, we need... Let's get involved with Takanaka, because he's been lurking around the story this entire time. We need to actually get involved. Takanaka? I thought you wanted to avoid him, though. Last night, Kuki was attacked. He's in hospital, unconscious. Seriously? You're talking about the head of the Kuki family, right? Who the hell would do something like that? And why would his guys let it happen? I don't know, but they think I'm the one that did it. Why? Because I did it. You've been set up again? The hell's going on, Tatsuya? I don't know. The Kuki family's so pissed off that they won't even talk to me right now. They surrounded me and I almost didn't make it. That's not true. We easily made it. Okay. Now I get what's going on, but... What do you want Takanaka for? Are you going to ask the police for, that, uh, for help? No. Takanaka was looking into Toda's death too, right? It wasn't just me. Yeah, he said something about that. He was asking me about it. A hostess named Chiaki mentioned the same thing. I need to know why Takanaka is looking into Toda. Maybe I can get some info on people who might have a grudge against Toda. Well, Takanaka might have more of an idea than anyone else. But right now, I think you need to focus on who attacked Kuki. He's still being targeted by the Kuki family, right? Toda's killing and the attack on Kuki. I feel like they're connected. The timing's just too perfect. Toda, who I thought I killed, and then Kuki gets attacked. Someone stole my bracelet and left it at the scene of Kuki's attack. Toda's murder. Kuki's assault. They're trying to pin it all onto me. But that handkerchief wasn't mine. What the hell's going on? Yeah, that's key evidence right there. I see. It's true that Toda's killing and Kuki's attack might be connected. Police don't know that Kuki was attacked, but 
They are investigating Toda's murder. Takanaka might have some information about Toda's killer. So I'll start there. All right. When I find Takanaka, I'll let you know. Don't do anything reckless. You're being targeted by the Yakuza. Just keep things on the down low. Thanks. That's a big help. Call me when you find Takanaka. See ya. Click. Takanaka's juvenile division. I should ask some young people around Kamurocho about him. Hmm. I've, I've, it's good that Tatsuya has some direction in this, at the very least. It's not just talk to random people nearby. But, I mean, we are going to go talk to people. That's explicitly what we're going to do. So maybe I shouldn't be giving it compliments just yet. May hmm? Maybe that could will have an idea. Have you ever been so far as to... Etc, etc. What the fuck does that even mean? That couple will have an idea? Is that what they meant? Hey, can I ask you something? No, we are doing the exact same thing again. Hmm? What is it? Flirting boy. Sorry, I know you're on a date. I'm looking for Takanaka from the juvenile division. Takanaka? That loudmouth detective? Yeah, that's him. Do you know where I can find him? Hmm, I'm not really sure where he would be. Hey, this is boring. Let's go somewhere fun instead of talking about the police. Their arms are so thin, what the fuck? Oh, I know. Wait, don't go touch me like that already. Calm down. Hey, so, Takanaka? Oh, sorry. You might be over at a karaoke place, I think. Somewhere with a lot of people. Thanks for the help. I didn't think the, the first person we talked to would be so helpful. A lot of people. Okay, we can try karaoke. We're not going to do karaoke, because we did karaoke. And karaoke in this is garbage. Oh, I'm Ukyo Tetsuya. Okay. Yeah, we're just fighting Yakuza dudes. I hope they give good XP. I know that's supposed to be a thing in, in Kurohyo too, right? Is there's high, higher ranking, stronger Yakuza guys roaming the streets. And you can do like a high risk, high reward thing. And fight them for good rewards, you know? I don't know if that this is going to be like that. I hope so. Because I'll fight them. I'll certainly fight them. Gets me a level at least. Let's go. 24. Yeah, not bad for one guy. Certainly not bad. Won't complain about that. Uh. Oh, and these are... Yeah, it's like... Yeah, someone from Smile Burgers. Some, the lady from Galateria. Maybe a guy from Kyushu Number 1 Star. And they're just talking. It's not a sub-story though. Speaking of sub-stories... Uh, yeah, we've got a bunch. Well, let's go have a look around. I hope one of them maybe is Hugo, and we can get our uh, get our new style. Definitely want to do that today. So we're we're getting towards leveling. Uh, nope, leveling our current style. Right? I mean, uh, we've still got a while to go, but it's our only style. I'd like to have one to fall back on once we max it out. Yeah, I couldn't decide if I wanted to fight this guy or not. But I just stood there for too long. Oh, well. Yeah, we'll go to uh, go to Theatre Square. There's a sub-story there, and we can see what's going on with the interviews. And that'll tell me for sure if we've got a style ready to go. There you go. I, I, I like the simplicity of that punch from the grab. Oh, fuck. Yeah, we are quick enough to interrupt some attacks. That's a, a valid counter strategy. Not that move though. Yeah, if I if I do forward and square, it does that big long spin. But if I don't do a direction, it does the quick punch. If I need to do the quick punch, I want to cancel. Ooh, XP. Thank you. 270, nice. Yeah, we're chewing through it. We're chewing through it. Yeah, I I mean, I guess, you know, if we're doing just random stuff, then I can just run around and avoid fights. Oh, if I don't want to waste XP. I found a random unmarked cat. Let's go. Nice. And yeah, we'll have to... Well, it might it, well, it might be one that is available now. But I need to stop in for the cat map. How much money do I have? Oh, I have a bunch. I only have 20k. Or 200k, actually. <laughs> Shit. So... Yeah, definitely got to get some more upgrades, too, as we got the cat map. Yeah, new fighters. Mm hmm. What do we got? Okamura Takashi. Oh, there's two! Oh! 
Two styles then. Oh, military campo, which we have. Okay, so there are some for these styles. I just didn't unlock until now. So we have that. And pro wrestling, that's new. Mr. Wrestling. Yoshimura Rintaro. Let's look at them both. The undefeated. Specialist of military campo. Honed from his experience on the battlefield. His background shaped his destructive style. Uh, guess we'll look at the other guy later because we're gonna we gotta come back here and pick it up. Yeah, check in advance using the right style. Yep, Okamura, the undefeated. He should be on Shichifuku Street, and he uses military martial arts. Well, good luck. Yeah, yeah. Okay, what's going on over here? I need to find Hugo. That's the important thing. I don't know where he's gonna be. I mean, I could look at I could look at the guide and just find it quickly because I do want to just get it. Uh, where's the Age for start. There you go. Fine styles. Uh, so if it is pro wrestling that we're getting. Yeah. Chapter 7. Sub stories. Settling things with Hugo. Okay. I guess I need to look at sub stories then. Where is it? Uh, in La Marche. Got it. Got it. Okay. Oh. Okay. So I won't spoil myself on what I actually have to do or what happens. But I'll go find it. The undefeated of East Shichifuku Street. Okay. Uh, I was wondering because Shichifuku is... Uh, is a big area. Oh, it's you. It's Shirishi. It's the Mar. It's one of the Mars fighters. Oh shit! Is it both? It's both the Mars fighters. Holy shit! They're here. Returning characters. Get hyped! It's the Mars fighters. It's the first time we've seen them together in a few games. Like, I think we had that sub story in three that had us doing stuff with both of them. Yeah, and then in four there was just the one on the right doing the. I think it's the one on the right doing the. Uh, Whichever one it was. Doing the hostess stuff. And the other one wasn't in the game at all. Nice to see them together. What's with the crowd? On the mic, whoops. Come on! <laughs> Shirishi. What the hell's he doing here? I guess we'll watch. What the hell's going on? Now, it's time for the next challenger. What's your name? Shirishi. Shirishi-san, let's challenge! If you're correct, we'll give you an autograph from us, the Mars Fighters. Kiryu has one of those. Yes! Shirishi, what the hell's he doing? Now for the question. How does a man go eight days without sleeping? What's the answer? Huh? What do you mean? Uh, coffee? And the correct answer was... It was because he sleeps at night. Oh, terrible. Just because he doesn't sleep during the day for eight days in a row doesn't mean he can't sleep at night. Damn it. Sorry for you, sorry for you disappointment, Shirishi-san. We hope you make another attempt in the future. Oh, poor Shirishi. <laughs> he can't win anything. Mm -mm. What to do? Yo, Shirishi-san. You were on TV just now, weren't you? Well, there's no cameras. What? Are the Mars fighters holding hands? What are they doing? Ah, Tatsuya-chan. Well, my girl Miho-chan's a big fan of the Mars fighters. If you get on the show and answer correctly, you get an autograph from them. And you got it dead wrong. Yeah. You really know how to strike out with the ladies. You go from one to the next. Okay, Yukio-chan, why don't you take the challenge instead, then? Why don't you try it, smart guy? Huh? What? You'd really help me out, pal. Come on, please. Huh? Why would I do that? Now, if I get dumped by Miho, it'll be because of you. <laughs> no. The hell? I'll hate you forever and ever. <sighs> Fine. He doesn't want to be hated by Shirishi. I'll do it, okay? Seriously? That's what I'm talking about, Ukyo-chan. I can't promise I'll get the answers correct, though, okay? Yes, yes, I understand. Now, who else is up for the challenge? Ah, here, Ukyo-chan. Uh, let me do it. Oh, we have a new challenger. How energetic he is. Yes, this guy is the next challenger. Mm, I might have to look at the guide for this one. Okay, bro. What's your name? Ukyo. Good luck. Now, they didn't give me a let's challenge? This bullshit. Now, the question is... 
What do the words madam, civic, I, and level all have in common? Uh, what well, I don't know what I don't remember what the word word for it is, but they're the same if you reverse them. Hmm. Must be. Yeah, palindromes. That's it. They're all palindromes. The palindromes. The correct answer is they are all palindromes. Say, I didn't need the guide. I'm smart. A palindrome means that the word can be spelt exactly the same back to front. Oh, how did they localize this? They, 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 this definitely isn't how it would have been in the original Japanese. I guess maybe it's still a palindrome, but like Japanese palindromes with the same characters back to front, maybe. This is the case for all the words that were listed. But yeah, they must have changed it in the in the patch. Unless they were using English. I don't know. You can also have palindrome dates, which are read the exact same normally or when read backwards. Brilliant, Ukyo-san. Here, please take our autograph. Just the one question. That easy. Awesome. Thanks. That's it for today, everyone. See you next time. Goodbye. Hmm. That was easy. We had to retreat all the way over here. Here you go. Whoa. Thank you so much, Ukyo-chan. How did you know the answer? It was easy. <laughs> that was easy. <laughs> yes, now Miho-chan will love me. <laughs> I mean, it went out on TV though, didn't it? So, and if she's such a big fan of the Mars fighter, she's probably going to see him losing and me winning. And at least figure out that, I don't know, that he, he, that he didn't win it himself for her. I never learns. Okay, I'm off to give this to Miho-chan. Sure. See you later. I'll thank you properly next time. You better. I mean, he gave me a good reward last time, so I hope he does. Right, let's go all the way south. Let's go to Lamarche. God, I wish there were taxis in this game, but I guess there aren't. I hadn't really thought about it. <sighs> not that, you know, there's not a good spot to taxi from around Theatre Square anyway. I guess I would go north, then left uh, from... Children's Park, take the taxi from there, and that would still be better if we're going all the way to La Marche. Oh well. It's gonna be worth it though. We're gonna get a new style, it's gonna be sick. Everyone is gonna pog, lose their shit at how cool it is when I become a pro wrestler. And then I, uh, well, because it's a new style, hopefully once we, I'll, I'll probably prioritize leveling that over the current style because it'll, uh, hopefully give us some new combos to work with and then maybe that combo style will combo with something else maybe oh fuck finally maybe another weapon mania guy come on then all right better make it worth my time if you're gonna waste my time fuck you i mash and turbo see how you like it God, this style is fast if you know how to use it. Oh! Yeah, I'm, I don't know. I wonder if the, the forward punch has better range. If there's a particular utility for it like that. But just having the, the neutral combo and just punching the dude over and over and over and over is really valuable. It's a good-ass style. All right, come on, come on. Run faster, Tatsuya! All the way to Lamarsh. Why this city gotta be so got dang big? Here we are, Lamarsh. Is he gonna be here for his hostess girlfriend again? There he is. Hugo, what are you doing here? I wanted to buy a nice bag for Chiaki after all I put her through. Oh, that's good of you. Ah, I see. So you and Chiaki are now... Yes, I'm living with Chiaki now. I probably won't be able to even come back to Camarocho. Oh. I'm glad things are going well for him. And I'm glad he's, like, him and Tatsuya are completely chill immediately. Huh? Why the hell not? I want you to come back. You're cool. I already dealt with things with Chiaki, but I still need to deal with things with you. Ah. I agree. We haven't had our proper revenge match yet. Last one didn't count? Why not? Ukyo, you want to get stronger? I'll teach you my style. The strongest style there is. Pro wrestling! Hell yeah! Pro wrestling? Follow me. There's an abandoned building that we can use. There, we will fight. 
It'll be a real fight. I'll teach you what I know. How does that sound? Let's do it. Yes, let's, let's square it up in Lamarche. They're gonna throw down. Fuck up all the jewelry cases. It's gonna be like a payday heist. You will try, but we shall see. Let's give it a go. Of course, it's back here. It's always back here. And he's pro wrestling level five. Of course, he's a master of his style. All right. That's it. He's very defensive. There we go. Good hit. Oh, okay. He loves to catch. He's definitely not going as hardcore as he did during the actual match, though. He was, he was like, coked up during that. He was so aggressive. Look, I'm already on the turbo. Instant get up. Let's go. Here's some heat for you. Under the shins. I got another heat move in me. He's not weak yet. Oh. Yeah, hit him as he's rolling. Yeah, just hit him with that again. Just pour the damage out. Drips and drabs. Oh, fuck. I knew he was going to do that. I just didn't react in time. No, he got me for free. Fuck it. Uh, health is okay. Yeah, that one's real easy to dodge, though. Just loves to catch. And another heat move for you. He's building up his own, which I'm nervous about. Ah, he always does the get-up move. Why did I... Oh, fuck yeah. Why am I not reacting to it at this point? Uh, need to heal. Should resupply on drugs soon, too. We didn't do it that time. Fuck, and I still fucked up. Come on. I've got turbo. Bunch of bullshit that I can't escape a grab. I mean, if I can't get it with turbo, then that means it is truly fake, right? Like, there is no escaping from it. For real, for real. No, I don't, I don't know why I thought he'd let me do that. Ah, fuck. Thanks for showing me all the heat moves, though, I guess. On. Gotta be relatively low now, right? Not yet. He's still going strong by the looks of it. Oh, we got him behind. Oh, we got him turned around. Let's go. I don't know how that happened. But hell yeah. That's something to get hype about in the accident game. Being able to hit someone in the back. Doesn't mean as much in this compared to regular Yakuza. Yeah, I knew it was coming. There we go. He's done. Whew. Tough. I really fucked up his head. But he fucked up mine. Nice chunk of XP also. Give me that style. Yeah. Pro Wrestling level 1. A new Chaos Strike. So grab attack power. Bad for auto staff. Okay. We'll see how that develops. You're stronger than you were before, aren't you? I mean, you're weaker than you were before. I don't know. You're still just as tough to fight. The style of pro wrestling is all about being showy, but at the same time causing devastating damage. The movement for each strike is a lot slower, but each one hits like a truck. Throwing techniques are also used. So yeah, slow, but high damage. I see. I only taught you the basics of the style. You'll have to practice and figure out the rest. I will do that. I want you to use this. I don't need it anymore. Secret book wind scroll received. Ooh, a secret book. Is it good? Yes. Keep it safe. Keep it secret. I have no reg regrets. I'm glad that I got to fight you with all my power. Ukyo, never stop fighting. All right. See you around, Hugo. I hope you come back. Nice XP. Uh, cat map, please. 60 cats. Yep, thank you. Uh, so what's uh, what what do we get from that scroll then? Is it a punch or a kick? Hmm. 
Uh, yeah, I think it's that one. Is that Sugi Rage? I, I tried the other one before. Yeah, I tried Bunker Knuckle, and it was a bunch of bullshit. And this is the exact same input, so it's probably also going to be a bunch of bullshit, so I'm not going to buy it. <laughs> just, just fuck that. They don't work. Oh, cap's gone up to 30 now. Oh, fuck. We're really behind, huh? Yeah, like I said, we can leave stamina alone. Uh, just go in on damage a bit. Yeah. Just give a few levels to both. Maybe we can go to 20. It's a bit spancy, but I think we can do it. Okay, not all the way. Not everything up to 20, but punch at 20. I probably should have gone for more grab. Since we're using pro wrestling. But whatever. I will keep up the good work. Thank you for the cat XP. Yeah, we're getting a lot of XP just from stuff. I need to heal too. Matsuya, save me. I need health. Oh, there's a cat right there in the alley with him? Hold on. I'm not going to miss that. Give me that cat. How do you miss this one, old man? You can teach me how to fight, but you can't see this fucking cat a few feet away from you? Incompetent. Right, I haven't, I haven't switched to pro wrestling yet, have I? No. There it is. I'm ready. I'm ready for that fat XP. Those levels for that dopamine. The styles. Imagine. Give me what you got. It's not enough. More. That'll do. Thank you. All right, let's go do some sub stories then. Just see what we can run into. Uh, <clears throat> there's a couple. I guess we'll go to the top right. There's a bunch of stuff going on over there. Oh, God, camera. Oh, well, yeah, I'll fight you. Yeah, any fight I can get, I need to test out the style. An XP is of value right now. Oh, opens with a headbutt. Nice. And I can just use whichever button I want, since none of them are enhanced. Just that dodging is bad. That's what I need to remember. Oh, you escaped my grab? How, how dare you? First of all. Mm -hmm. yeah, only 400, so yeah. A couple more fights will do that. Nice. Or one really good one, maybe? Maybe. Can only hope. All right, all right, all right. Let's head this way. Oh, hi. Two men. Two men. Yeah, we're just, we're, you know, we're in a new chapter now, which means sub story, sub story, sub story, <laughs> and grab cats along the way, I guess. Yeah, it's pretty, we got pretty short combos, just a couple of hits. Need to try all the different apps. That's my downed attack? Holy shit. Attack on downed enemies, that is. Ow. Ow, ow, stop that. Let's see some of these throws. Yeah, that's sick. It's exactly what pro wrestling... Oh, I'm with a lariat too. Oh, sick. The run, uh, the running punch is a lariat. Let's go. I like this style. It's fun. Ooh, close, close. Yeah, I am a fan of the pro wrestling style. Hell yeah. Yes, we're headed. I got no, we'll go over a block, get a cat, then head north. And then we've got a bunch of stuff going on up here. Oh, Cardman. Thank you. Thank you. I I, I was going to say I appreciate your card. I don't really. I, I don't get anything. I don't know if I get anything from it, like, when I'm done with it. Right now, I certainly don't. Hello, I want my pro wrestling level, please. This guy's got jujitsu. Have we seen jujitsu yet? Exciting. Yeah, I think... Uh, that, I think Jiu-Jitsu might be the last story locked style. I think that one isn't even a sub-story from what I looked at. So, I think we might actually get some of the more advanced styles unlocked. Once with, you know, with, uh, with just pro wrestling. And then, once we've got that, we should be free to go and get everything, I think. Yeah, 
now I want to get another one of those uh, charge punches. Now it doesn't really match pro wrestling. There you go, right in the gut. Yeah, let me look at the guide again. I have it, uh, yeah, I have it here. Street fighting we've got, boxing we've got, these are the basic styles. Traditional martial arts we've got, karate we've got, wrestling we've got, jujitsu we're going to get uh, next chapter. And that's it. That's all the basic styles. So we're getting there. We're getting there. Ooh, injury reduction. Wait, what does that do? The guide can tell me. Uh, I, I mean, I guess it just, it doesn't say anything. It does say stuff about particular effects down the line, but I guess it's just in the name. Uh, you don't get injured as much, which is good. Uh, yeah, I would like to equip that. Thank you. Good money. Okay. Uh, yes. All the way north. And we'll see what we've got going on. Isn't this, this is Tankaichi Street. Oh, uh, Shichifuku Street, yes. So, one of these is probably our interview. No, Tankaichi Street is north. No. No. Get your directions right. Southwest. Very southwest. It's where Serena is. Oh, whatever. I'll fight you. I, whatever. It's two guys. It can be worth it. Okay. Come on. Yeah, really gonna get that uh, fast forward figured out. Oh, no. Damn. Oh, yeah, a lot of, I really like a lot of the animations on this style. Very cool. Yeah, got to be doing, oh, lots of grabs. For that grab damage. This is what we're all about. We're wrestlers here now. Yeah, another one. Why not another one? Why not a heat move for you? Oh, God. Really took him right to the the earth there. So close to another level again. I love basic styles. Great stuff. What's going on here? Oh, hey, it's Mia. This is the detective lady we met last time. Hey, Tatsuya. Long time no see. You always look like you're in a bad mood. Are you still going around fighting? You're that detective, right? Leave me alone. Yes, you're just in time. I have a favor to ask you, Tatsuya. I'm sure you've got hours to spare. Can't you just talk to me for a few minutes? Why should I waste my time to help you out? <laughs> you owe me big time. Don't you remember how I saved you from the police last time, Tatsuya Kun? You didn't do anything, I just ran. <laughs> Come with me. I'll explain all the details to you. Okay. Oh, now we're over here. This is a love hotel. I know I owe you, but... <laughs> hey, he's underage. Don't be an idiot. This is a serious job. A job? I need you to help me with my research. Don't worry, Tatsuya. It's very simple. I'm currently after the president of a trading company. He's a massive womanizer. He's taking advantage of the job market. He's hiring girls from the country and then firing them after he beds them. That's fucked up. The detective who might be also able to find the detective you're looking for, you dumbass. Oh, right, yeah. I mean, uh, I mean, she's definitely not in the youth division with the shit she gets into. Wait, isn't that, uh, uh, mm, I mean, she might be a private detective because she was helping us get away from the police. I don't know. But I still, she would maybe know. Yeah, you've got to, you're, you're right. I can't work my way around that logic. It's water, water tight. Heh. <laughs> You're not like that at all. You're so uptight. You sure know how to cut deep. Tonight you're staying with a girl from Akita, so what I need you to do is... I want you to stake out this place and intercept them when they're when they're coming out of this hotel. Why can't you do that? If you tell him that his wife asked you to come, he'll give up straight away. Okay, maybe she can't get too close. She might be recognized or something. Damn it. Sound good? Listen to me carefully. The president wears a full suit. He's 35 years old, but he talks like he's a young boy still. The girl has dark hair, shoulder length. She's from Akita, so keep an eye out for an interesting dialect. I'm not going to be able to recognize that. So, I think that's everything. Do you need me to go over it one more time? Full suit, talks like he's young. Girl with short hair. Akita, he's 35. I got it. I got it. Got it. 
The guy in the suit and the dark-haired woman from Akita. He makes his wife and all his girls cry a lot. Oh. This is a good opportunity to really burn his ass for all the stuff he's done. I'm counting on you. I believe there are four couples in this hotel right now. Be careful not to confuse them. I have to go do some other things. Let's meet at Bantam next to Millennium Tower. I guess I can quick save if I'm worried, but I think I'll be okay. I'll be waiting for your report. Good luck. Hmm. Hey! Why is she so happy? Well, we better keep an eye on all the exits and entrances of this hotel. He's wearing a suit, and she has black hair and speaks with a Nikita accent. Wait. Uh, he, wait, he's, are you forgetting the details? It isn't black hair. It's short hair, right? Is he forgetting the details? Hmm? Is that them? No. Kazuhiro, you're not how you appear. I was a little surprised. Maybe it's due to my football training. <laughs> Shuri, have you fallen in love with me? Nah. That's not them. I'll keep waiting a bit longer. Couple has the guy in the suit, the woman with dark hair, and a key of dialect. I mean, the, it could be the translation fucking me over again. That's not a full suit. Is that them? Not short hair. Hey, I'm really hungry. Want to get something to eat? Want to get some uh, okinomi ok okinomiyaki? I wonder if there are any good places around here that are still open. It's not a full suit. He's probably too young. Not them. That's not them. Yep. Uh, yep. Suit, dark hair, dialect. Oh! Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. That's them. That's them. Suzu-chan, you were so cute. Did you have fun? Yes, sir, Mr. President. Yeah, it's obviously this. You're working so hard, Suzu-chan. I just wanted to show my appreciation. Isn't this adultery? Your wife is so beautiful. Yeah, there's the accent. I don't care about that. Anyway, here's the taxi fare. I can't give you a lift to the company dormitories. You okay going home by yourself, Suzu chan Hmm. Trust me, I love you. You're the only one for me. Hmm. Time to intervene. Okay. Nothing. Okay, nothing. Hey, you're the president. Your wife asked me to come here. Yes, I sent you. Does she know everything? Be funny if there's just another skeezy president at the hotel, like the fourth guy, fourth couple. Oh, what should I do? She's going to divorce me. I'm going to have to shut you up myself. You look strong, but I have no choice. Okay. Level five, street fighting level one. I appreciate that he's appropriately weak. It wouldn't make sense if he was super buff. All right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna beat you raw. There you go. That easy. End him with an elbow. Do I get enough for a level? No, I got 30. You know what? Fair enough. I'm not gonna complain about getting 30 for that fight. 10,000 yen though. I'm not gonna complain at all. Matter of fact, that's great. Thanks. Woo wee. That's a lot of money. P President? What? What? Seems like that was definitely him. Better go tell Mia. He's over at Bantam next to Millennium Tower. I guess we'll do that then. We're all the way over here now. And there's some cats. Uh, I guess we'll see what's going on one block over and get that cat. We don't have to do everything one at a time. It's fine. I'm not that OCD. At least not right now. Alright. Gimme, 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 gimme. Cat, cat, cat. Meow. Meow. Thank you. Alright, what's going on down here that isn't the the arena? Oh, I'll take your XP. Yeah. Hopefully be enough, Mr. Jiu-Jitsu Man. Only level 12, but... Alright, he likes to be grabbed. Good to know. Works out for me. Oh, shit. Fucking Limp Biscuit over here. You, you can dodge. Yeah, I haven't done that one yet. Why you fighting Fred this? <laughs> yeah, you see? We, we, were, we were in the same mindset. I'm glad. I'm glad we were, we were having similar brain thoughts. Oh, it's still not enough. 
Fuck you, Fred Durst. Go make another shit movie about fanatics or whatever. You, I don't remember what it, what he actually did, but he was involved with that movie, the fanatic. And they play Limp Biscuit in the mu in the movie also. Anyway, hey, you're Tatsuya Kun, right? Hmm. My name's Miyuki. We were in the same class in junior high. Oh. Is that true? Oh my god, I can't believe you've forgotten about me. This seems like a scam again. We had this, but over the phone. Huh? I don't remember anyone called Miyuki. Hey, we were in the same class for three years. You're such a meanie for forgetting. Uh, was Tatsuya in high school for three years? I don't know if he was. I guess he was. I really don't remember anyone by that name. You never changed, did you? Do you have some free time? Do you want to get some tea? I guess we'll go out with Miyuki then. Time to get scammed. Really? I'm so happy to spend some time with you like this, Tatsuya-kun. I mean, I don't think we gave her our name, did we? So, that gives us some credibility. We have so much to catch up on. Hey, your phone is ringing. Oh yeah, sorry. Hello? Yep. Okay. The usual spot? Cool. Sorry, Tatsuya-kun. I have some business to attend to. Okay, seems like it's not a scam then. I'll send you a message later, okay? You were the one that asked me to go with you in the first place. Alright, I'll talk to you later. There we go. I've got your email address saved. I have to go now. I'll be in touch soon. See you, Tatsuya-kun. Hmm. What was that about? Very interesting. All right, so... Yeah, we've got a cat down south. So I guess we'll go that way and then see what's up on... Uh, park, what, what's this? It's, it's Park something. What is this street again? Park Boulevard. There you go. Yeah, you give me the level. I want my pro wrestling to increase. Give it to me. Oh, we're doing a showdown. A struggle, whatever you want to call it. Come on, you fucker. Nice. I got that mash in me. Oh. Really wouldn't want to do that on concrete. <laughs> Guess that's just how good we are at pro wrestling. Jesus. Like, we we just hit his toe with that. We're, we're definitely doing more damage to ourselves than him doing that. I guess he has his youth. There we go. Level three. What do we got? New punch kick combo, good, because the combo is very small right now. And a grab attack. Uh, I think grab attack power went up, because we already had injury reduction from last time. So just more grab attack power. Hell yeah. Lucha level one. Let's go. Oh, fuck yeah. Right, of course, we get, uh, some, we get some styles just at level three. Let's go. We're going to lucha. Kicking power and grab speed. Okay. Oh, Weapon Mania! Here we go! It's on. It's on. Right, so we've got all those now. Uh, no, I'm not gonna switch just yet. But goddamn. We do want to get this to level 5. But let's see. Let's see what combos we can now get if we level. We should be able to get some. Yeah, Muay Thai we've got. Fighting Kenpo we got. Chinese Kung, po, uh, Kung Pao we got. Uh, Kung Fu, not Kung Pao. <laughs> Lucha we just got. Weapon Mania we just got. MMA needs jujitsu and baji kwan needs jujitsu those are the only advanced styles that we don't have yet so extreme styles boxing muay thai fighting kung fu wait wait we have that don't we have that wait maybe maybe you only get them later or something i need to research clearly uh hold on yeah so boxing level five muay thai level three Kung Fu level 3. Huh. Weird. Hold on. Let me look at the top of this page. Maybe there's information here. Uh, yeah, Extreme styles. MMA style fusions of Tatsuya's own, own invention. These will require master, uh, complete mastery of three fighting styles. Hmm. Yeah, it doesn't say anything. I don't think. Hmm. Ah, as a minor note, the bonus new grab attack means that the animation for one of the grab-based attacks changed, accompanied by higher damage or better knockdown advantage. That's good. Not cataloged, but good. Good that we know that. So, we should... I feel like we should have extreme hard arm. 
Because that's boxing, Muay Thai, fighting Kung Fu. Unless that's a translation thing. But fighting Kung Fu... What do they say fighting Kung Fu is? Fighting Kung Fu is one of the advanced styles. That... Uh, in, mm, maybe that's military Kempo? Maybe? Yeah, that might be military Kempo. Now, I... I yeah, actually, yeah. I think I'm going to switch to military Kempo. Because if we max this out, we might get our first extreme. That's one to keep in mind. Uh, extreme God Leg is Karate, Chinese Kenpo. Well, no, this is Kenpo. And then Fighting Kung Fu level 3. We just not have Fighting Kung Fu? What's Fighting Kung Fu? Fighting Kung Fu. It doesn't even say Fighting Kung Fu. It says Chinese Kung Fu here. <laughs> Bunch of bullshit, man. Okay. Uh. Yeah, that's Extreme God Leg. Extreme Flexibility is Jiu-Jitsu, Bajiquan, which we don't have, and MMA, which we don't have. Tenacity is Wrestling, Weapon Mania, Lucha, which we have. Uh, Extreme Awakening, Street Fighting, MMA, Weapon Mania, don't have MMA. Extreme Vigor is Traditional Martial Arts, Bajiquan, which we don't have in Kenpo. Okay, so a lot of these we can't do yet, but we're very close. Next chapter, as of next chapter, we should be able to do, like, everything. And get Extreme Being, with some effort. But we'll be able to do it. So let's just press on. But uh, I might be doing some style farming uh, between streams, if that's the case. Because we're we're pretty close. I mean, the extreme styles them themselves need leveling. But it's only one level that you have to get. And then the final style is just has the one. And you don't have to level it at all. Uh, yeah, we're pretty close to getting all the cats. So we might as well go get the one in Children's Park. Why not? Hello. Yes, I want your XP. Yeah, maybe I should just go do some arena stuff. To bump up some of these styles. I feel like we're gonna get the XP one way or the other. Ow. Should have paid attention to the... Uh, uh, what the style is good at. I just equipped it without looking again. I always forget. There we go, thank you. Oh, I equipped Military Kempo level 1, I'm stupid. Hold on. <laughs> it's, it's, I guess it's nice that you can do that, but I've got no reason to want to do it. See, I need to be dodging and everything else is fine. Punches are best, but everything's good. Yeah, yeah. Okay, at least you still get XP if you're using it in a lower level. Uh, yes, so Children's Park, Children's Park. And I'll, I'll get into fights along the way. Whatever XP I can get is of value. But yeah, I'm curious if maxing this style will get us an, an extreme style. So maybe we'll do some arena-ing today just to find out. The sub-story XP isn't that good. It's story XP and arena that's good. As long as I'm not wasting the XP, I don't really mind. Hello. One guy, Lucha level 1. You're not going to be worth jack shit. Yeah, yeah. He likes to guard, but I like to dodge. Oh, he also likes to dodge. Fuck. No, you don't get to use weapon. I get to... No, no, none of us get to use weapon, actually. I've decided just now. Eat shit. Die. He's not dead. Oh... Caught from down. Is that just a thing you can do? Because I've seen a bunch of NPCs do it now. At least a couple. I gotta dodge this shit better. He's fairly quick, but he's low. He's low. There you go. It's one to the back of the head. Yep, nice chunk. They even single guy fights. Like, every enemy is high enough level. That we get pretty good XP, no matter what, basically. There's very few wasted fights. I guess, except those that are in uh, sub-stories. But, you know, those are sub-stories. So we get the benefits from those. And just progression towards 100% sub-stories. Alright, that's that cat. Um, there's one in Theatre Square. I guess... 
Hmm. No, I, yeah, I'm going to go get that. And maybe we'll go eat at Matsu just so I can heal. Uh, my healing items, by the way. Uh, no, we're very good. Oh, it's a bunch of stamina ends, but that's fine. I'll just use those if I need to heal. I'm not worried about it right now. The inventory is filled up in an, in a certain way. Yeah, whatever. It doesn't matter which way we go. Fine. Just need me my cat, man. Maybe I shouldn't bother with it if I'm gonna... Because we're probably not gonna get to the next chapter this stream. I think we're just doing side stuff for the rest of today. So I could probably just leave the cats off stream I do like this fighting style quite a bit so I'm happy to be using it again even though I'm I'm anxious to try out my other styles oh thanks for the XP yeah I'll try to get this style maxed out today see if we get any, uh, anything from it and then at least I've got to try out our new styles too important Yeah, we got a lot of money right now. I'm just going to use a heal. Yep. Use some of my drugs so I can go fast. I don't need to go out of my way to get to Matsuya. Cardman! There you go. Thank you. Out of my way. I have cats to get. Give me my cat. My little kinty. My little kibby wibby. Get, get out of my way. There's a cat that needs my help. Thank you. Yeah, 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 yeah. So this is I mean, where we're at now with them. We're in the 60s, I want to say, right? Uh, Yeah, we're in the 60s. So next chapter, we'll get to 75, and we should get another discount again. And then another one at 100. So pretty good. So I probably should save my money as well. Uh, Not go in on the stat upgrades. Just wait for the... Wait for the discount. That'll work. Right, there's one up here. Let's see what that's about. And then the one all the way to the east on this street should be our interview. Which one's this style, I want to say? Level 3 Jujitsu Hmm. Nice dodge, buddy. How'd you like that one, though? Haha! <laughs> Oh, God. That's that, that punch that I said I, I've liked before. The kind of, the one that scrapes the ground and, and looks really cool. Almost scrapes the ground, you know? Just right into his nuts with it, too. Love that kind of punch. Knew I liked this fighting style for a reason. Well, it's for several reasons, but now it's for an additional one. Hello. Ooh, three men, let's go. Been a while since we had a random three-man fight. Think of the XP. Mm -hmm. Here we are. Oh, see, they get roasted with that low health. Bop. Ah. Doesn't want to be grabbed. You, though, want to be heat moved. Oh, couldn't even get his attack out. Poor guy. Poor guy with the nice haircut, man. Ooh, that's a lot. Oh, yeah. We're closing in on level 25 as well to recover my brain injury. I never even go in to get healed like that anymore. Oh, it's a Diablo guy. Ukyo-san, good evening. Can I talk to you about something? Hmm? What is it? My name's Takanaka from Diablo. Diablo? Oh, that's Akagi's gang. What did you want? Uh, what did you want from me? So, yesterday, someone attacked our leader. Oh no, Akagi! What? Akagi? I didn't think Akagi would get attacked back so soon. He left his group of friends, and when he was alone, he was suddenly attacked. Do you know who did this? We have no idea. Yeah, the storyline is continuing. I love it. That's not even all. There was a few other members of our gang that were attacked. It's not even just Diablo. Even the Death Corps have been attacked as well. I was going to say, is it Death Corps? But no. It's the same thing every time. When they find a guy alone, a few guys jump him. That's all we know. I see. 
Please be careful, Lukio san. Huh? Me? You defeated this and the Death Corps. Uh, Death Corps best guys. You're almost definitely going to be a target. And I won't let some cowards like that get the better of me. I hope so. Please keep an eye out. Sure. Well, I better head to the hospital now to check on Akagi-san. Is that bad? No problem. Tell Akagi that I hope he's alright. Thank you very much. Well, see ya. Yeah, Akagi's a cool guy. I wish the best for him. Who the hell would be doing shit like that? Hey! Oh, is that, are we getting our answer right away? Oh, we are! Good! The hell are you guys? I thought we'd have to walk somewhere else. Get him! It's this easy. Three men! Ah, uh, three men but a sub-story, though. So the XP is not going to be as good as it should be. Yeah, yeah. You're still going to be weak, so I don't care. Yep, you're done. You're soon to be done. Yeah, do something. Why don't you do something? Huh? Why don't you do something? This guy knows how to do something. Now do this. I love that stance. That, that is probably one of the styles we've got now. Nice. Ball handle. I do love this game's gameplay. Like how it, it feels so good to get comfortable with this and absolutely rock some dude's shit. Like I'm overleveled, sure. But it just feels right. Ugh. Who the hell are you guys? Do you do in Akagi? Tell me. Who are you people? What do you want? Who's to say? You. Oh god, a cop. Hey, what the hell's going on here? Tch, cops. I can't get caught. I better get the hell out of here. Looks like they gave up. Who the hell were those guys? Thanks for the XP, I guess. Uh, right, yeah. I guess we'll keep heading this way, go south. Get the substory that's... Uh, oh yeah, do the... The fight with the guy. The interview. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. And we got that other style unlocked, which, uh... Yeah, it was... Yeah, it was Lucha. Lucha... I, I think the other... No, it wasn't Lucha. It was... Was it? Oh, no. No, no, no. It was this style and wrestling that were the interviews that were unlocked. We have both of those now. That's it. The Popo. Yeah. I appreciate that Tatsuya at least at least throughout all of the story so far, has had a very good reason to want to avoid the police. Because with Kiryu, it's always kind of bullshit. Like, he has very... Uh, the only reason he can really give is, like, I don't have time for this right now. Because other more important things are happening, and it would slow him down. Nice. Didn't mean to do that. But Tatsuya was... You know, he wanted to avoid his probation stuff. And... Then he was, you know, suspected of murder, and he's still suspected of murder. So it makes sense that he wants to run away. Not as much bullshit as it was when Katsuragi didn't die. Which is nice. Good. Hello. Two men. Yes, please. Bring it in. Hmm. So tired of these intros. <laughs> Oh, shit. I was going to make fun of his shirt. There's nothing wrong with it. I was just going to say nice shirt because it stood out to me. Oh, nice pants, actually. This guy's got a particular type of drip. And that particular type of drip is all that blood on my screen. Level? Oh, so close to leveling. And on the style, too. Good stuff. Yeah, we should get it from this guy. This is the right style, right? Hey, you're Okamura the Undefeated, right? We're gonna have an interview. Fight me so I can learn about your style. Looks like you're using the same style as I am. You must have seen some action then. Huh? What do you mean? <laughs> you can't hide it from me. You have the eyes of a beast. It proves you have a bloodlust. Oh, I think you might be projecting, bro. Oh, pop the mic. 
Whoops. But I think you might be projecting. Maybe you can satisfy me. Come on. Gross. But okay. Level 17. Wow. Don't know if we've seen anyone that high yet. Hey, he's guarding. You do be guarding and shit. Oh, nice dodge. You can tell when I didn't mean to do it when I'm like surprised like that. The audible surprise that I that I landed the the evade. Fuck. That's it. That's it. We got our hits in. Oh, I didn't mean to charge that. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Once again, I pleasantly surprised myself. Can't dodge quick enough half the time. So garbage. That was obviously way too early. Come on now. That was obviously way too early. My head! I really need that level now. There's that red heat. Thank you. Oh, that did it. Damn, I thought he had more in him than that, but okay. Give me my levels. Yeah, full recovery. Like I never had brain damage. Woo. And no, not quite there, but that's fine. We're a couple of fights off that. Been a long time since I remember the tension of being on a battlefield. Thank you for getting my blood pumping. Vacuum jumping knee kick. Ooh. You go to a dojo and train up with this technique. I'm sure you'll be able to master it. Yep. You step back onto the battlefield, I'd be happy to take you on again. You should meet Saigo. Hey, the interview ain't over yet. Yeah, but Tassia doesn't know Saigo. Alrighty. Okay. Um... Right, we gotta go meet up with Mia, the detective. Yeah, I forgot we were doing that. That's why I usually do things one at a time, because I will get immensely distracted. <laughs> but that's fine. Uh, I don't know if there'll be any more fights with uh, with what we're doing with Mia, but yeah, we've got at least one more fight along the way. We can get that level. And then we can see, see if we bec can become Kiwami. I want to be extreme. Nice helmet. Okay, he doesn't want to do anything. I'm just going to grab you then. See what you think about that. Nice dodge. That's what we want. Uh, oh. Oh, I want... Oh, okay, I wanted to grab him, but he's, he's being pretty aggro. Oh! No, oh, I... You can't beat me. Fuck! My turbo. There you go. Just fuck off. I just wanted to do a heat move to you. That simple. God, his back is destroyed. He will surely not recover from this. This will affect his livelihood for as long as he lives. It'll only get worse as he gets older. Get out of here. I wish I could have gotten the XP, but oh well. I had to ruin his life. It was too important. Ooh, close. One more fight like that and we're there. Oh, the tension. Uh, This way, this way. I always forget which way I'm going. Because of the fixed camera as well. It's not like you... You don't have that... Con oh, no. Not far enough. It's not that continue continuity of camera angle that you get in a regular Yakuza fight. We get sent into an instance in our fight. Hello! I hope you'll give me enough for a level. It's only one guy. I mean, the last guy was only one guy. Oh, God. Oh, my hand was off the controller for a second, man. Can't do me like that. Gonna punish you for that. Gonna put you in the schmitz. There you go. What you get for inconveniencing me. Come on. No! I knew he was too weak. Ah, fuck's sake. Okay, one more fight. For sure. Unless, unless we end up fighting that boss again. Since we're meeting with Mia. And it's another 30. Ah, Tatsuyakun. How did it go? You're very happy. Have you been drinking? I got finished a little early, so I had a quick drink. 
You've got a lot of nerve getting people to do your work for you. I think I got the right couple. Yeah, the wife has been in touch. He came home and apologized to his wife, even begged for forgiveness. He said he would never cheat on her again and started crying. I doubt he's telling the truth, but job's done. From here, it's up to them. She'll need to decide if she wants a divorce. She probably should. My work here is done. All thank to you, Tetsuya-kun. Hmm. You showed off great ability to make accurate observations and quick decisions. I'd say you passed the test. Yeah, this was a test, or were you really just trying to, you know, shove your work onto me? Hey, I don't care about being a goddamn detective, okay? That would be cool, though. Make him a detective. Put him in judgment. It's okay. You don't have to be shy about it. You will go far. Thank you for your help. Here's your fee. Oh, uh, it's not very much. Oh, head and body ro ro royal? What is that? I don't know. I guess I'll get rid of this crap and find out what it is. See you. Hmm. <laughs> Work so hard for such a small amount of money? Such bullshit. Yeah, Tatsuya agrees. We didn't work hard, though. It was very easy. Better not getting involved at all with that woman. There we got the XP. Oh, a cardman. Hello. Thank you. Oh, an XP. Is that... Does that mean we got a complete collection that we got a bunch of XP from him? I think it might. We'll have to go to a hideout, see if we can look at that card. Yeah, what is this thing? Oh, Toto Gan Royale. Heals injuries on the head and torso. Expensive and rather effective. All right, might not use it, but cool. No idea how his story ends, but boy, how'd it be neat and not completely unreasonable for him to show back up? Yeah, I'd, I'd love that. Even, you know, not having finished this game and not knowing where his story goes at all, I'd be really happy to see him again, like in any capacity. It'd be great. You know, he, do he doesn't need to have his own game again. I'm fine with that. Just just put him in, put him in the game. Put him in a game, somehow. Right, now you're going to give me my level. Yeah, as, we've, as we've talked about, he has an interesting perspective on Camarocho that none of the other characters up till now have had. So just having him around could expose us to a lot of interesting stuff. Although I guess Judgment does lean, on, uh, lean in on the kind of high school uh, age kid stuff, doesn't it? Like you, you get, there's an entire school area, I think, in Lost Judgment, right? So I guess Judgment, the, uh, the next spinoff, is going to try to do the same thing. Or I guess Dead Souls is the next spinoff, but the most recent spinoff does a similar thing. Judgment's DOA without shifting pro tags. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So if we could do something, get a new spinoff, if it's Judgment or not. Bring Judgment characters over, probably. I don't know that much about them. So there you go. That's done. So new combo. More auto step, I want to say. Extreme God Hand! Let's go! Oh! We Kiwami now! Let's go! So punching power plus 50 and uninjured arms. So I think that just means our, like our arms can't be injured. That's not what it says on the in the guide. In the guide, they call it numb to pain. But hell yeah. So we just have to level that once. I assume it takes a fair bit of XP. But this is this is an important milestone. Oh, extreme god lag! <laughs> oh, we're in there. Muffled Sunset Riders. That's what I was thinking. That's what I was thinking. I was thinking like, hmm, for the next stream, should I start it with some of the God Hand OST? <laughs> okay. Yeah, uninjured lead and kicking power plus 50. Fuck yeah. Um, yeah, let's try it. Let's try it. We have to try these. Now that we've maxed that out, I need to try all our other styles uh, before we're done today. Ooh, baby. Yeah, only one level. We have 12 styles now. Oh, that was the, the kicking power increase. So it's got, yeah, rounded out uh, punching and kicking power. That's pretty good. Very exciting. So 8,000 XP. That's a lot. You know, start, the starting the ground level for an advanced style is 3,000. But it's not as bad as I thought it would be. And once we got all the extreme styles maxed, the, uh, the final style doesn't get leveled at all. Oh, yeah, no. Yeah, Sunset Riders. No, I'm thinking of God Hand. Sorry, I'm getting confused. Yeah, Sunset Riders is, is a different thing. Sorry. No, I'm thinking of God Hand. Sorry. No, I had a brain fart. I, I'm bad at that sometimes. But no, I was... Regardless, I was thinking of God Hand. Even though it doesn't relate to what was said. 
I don't know as much about Sunset Riders, but I was just thinking of God Hand, because God Hand, because we got God Hand. That's all. I apologize. My, I, I can never live down this failure. So I wonder what the, the move set is actually like for these. I, I, I don't know. Does it integrate stuff from other other styles or or is it completely unique i don't know come on man kingdom we yeah we've seen their name in some of the goons that we fought they belong to this gang but they've not had any sub story action come on man that's what they told me you want me to make it worse i can do that the hell's going on let's keep watching i'm curious what will happen i said this before i'll say it again it's just not possible. You really won't join our gang, huh? You want this guy in your gang? Uh, you want this guy in your gang? The hell? You want him to join his gang? Hmm? Hey, the hell are you looking at? Huh? I was just looking at you being shady. The fuck? The hell do you think you're talking to, huh? I don't know. He's saying he can't join. What are you gonna do? Force him to join up? What's it to you, prick? Guess you're all bark, no bite. Just as I suspected. I'll show you bite. I'll kill you. Alright, Mr. Level 15. Bet you don't have extreme god lag. Ooh. Okay, what about the grabs? I don't, I, I don't actually know if this is a... I, I think uh, these might be... Familiar moves? I don't actually know. But it's cool. Oh, I don't think we've seen that. That could be in any of the styles we've not used yet. Oh, yeah, we've definitely seen that. I know that move. But the stat, that's the important thing. There we go. A little chunk. Ugh, ow. Get the fuck out of here. Shit. Hmm. Um, thank you. Who the hell was that guy? He was part of, gang, uh, of a gang called Kingdom. Kingdom? Yes, their numbers have been increasing rapidly. They're just one of the local gangs. They seem to be trying to force people into joining with some aggressive recruitment methods. I see. Okay, I'm off now. Thank you so much. No problem. Hmm. Kingdom. Yet another gang to deal with. 700 XP. I, I, it's not. It's not very much actually. In uh, in this game's terms. Uh. Okay, that's not it. There's one more sub story we can do. And I don't know. I don't know. Maybe we'll do a bit more story. Because I've we've got to try out these styles. Can't just leave you hanging on these. I guess I'll switch styles now. And we can try Extreme God Hand. Let's go. Let's go. God Hand. Oh. Oh, shit. That hits hard. Okay, what do we got? Oh, oh the Lariat. Woo. God Hand fucks. God Hand really far. That's not the game I gotta play at some point on stream. God Hand. Get this trash out of my inventory. Hmm. Okay. So, no. Still one more down. Let's see. Let's see. What else? What, what other kind of trouble can we get ourselves into? Hey, you there. Hey, want to make some quick cash? <laughs> it's my suspicious man voice. Quick cash? How so? It's very easy. All I, all I need you to do is take this attache case and deliver it somewhere. Oh, good. We're a mule. <laughs> That's all it takes and you'll get paid very well. <laughs> you look shady as hell, but getting paid to deliver an attache case and attache case is certainly easy money. I'll do it. Or I could keep the attache case and take the, the inventory expansion. Fine, I'll do it. <laughs> you know what's up, kid. There you go. 
It's heavy. Black attache case. Give it to a guy named Ugiwara who will be waiting for you on Park Boulevard. It's that easy. It's heavy and I have to take it all the way to the north. Don't even think of looking inside that case, alright? That's all you need to know. The rest is up to you. Okay, it's not actually slowing us down. And his question mark remained. But we've got the attache case, so I guess we'll just press on. Yeah, this guy's with Kingdom. Oh, I didn't switch styles. Fuck! Oh, well. More style of, uh, more style XP for God Hand, I guess. Uh, would you aim, Tatsuya? Where are you looking? There you go. But yeah, having the, you know, uninjurable traits is actually really good, because if you block a lot, that wears down your arms, so... Extreme God Hand would be really good at blocking, wouldn't it? And... Oh, this is very heavy. What's in it? And you know, if you're attacking guards, it can also injure what you're attacking with, so... If I just keep kicking at a guard with God Leg... Then I, I just won't take any limb damage, it's great. Okay, time to look at the guide. I, just, I don't trust this kind of thing anymore. One day I'll recover. But not yet. Uh, chapter 7. The Black Briefcase. Let's see. You can choose the first option to take a peek. And it's a bunch of pictures of old men in maid outfits. Ah. Huh. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, let's do it. I've seen, I've seen what the results are. Let's do it. The hell? It's full of photos. They're all of the same old man. He's posing around in nurses uniforms and maid outfits. The fuck is this? Hey, you! What the hell are you doing? Shut up! Get over here! Oh, we ended up all the way at Park Boulevard. Somehow. That's convenient. Other side of the map. Who the fuck are you? What's in there, huh? You've seen it. What if I did? After I'm done with you, you won't be able to tell anyone what you saw. Get ready. It's okay. You, you you don't have to be closeted about it. It's fine. Yeah, I want to try Lucha. Give me Lucha. Give me that grab speed. Kick power. Yes. I'm ready for Lucha. Ooh. That's a fun kick. Ooh. Yeah, I, I, I like what I'm seeing. Oh, my God. Didn't get to do any of the grabs or the heat moves or anything. Fuck. Just kicked him to death with my lucha. Thank you. Some garbage. Thank you for the garbage. Money? Ooh, good money. Hey, what the hell are those pictures? Okay, I'll fess up. Those are actually pictures of the CEO of my company. Oh, okay. So it's not a fetish thing. Unless he's lying. Huh? The boss enjoys cosplay, and he takes the photos and shares them with like-minded people. Are you a like-minded person? I have another meeting today, so I can't just bring those pictures into the office. So I... You made me carry them out of sight. I had nothing to do with this. The world finds out about this little hobby, our boss will be disgraced. Can we keep this as our little secret? I wouldn't even want to talk about it. This is the promised rewards, plus a little extra. 50,000 yen. So yeah, it was worth it. Will it be a sailor uniform today? No, maybe a flight attendant. I feel sick just thinking about it. Okay, so he's not like-minded. Got it. Or maybe he's sick with excitement. Me too. I feel a bit queasy. XP! Okay. So, no, more. Another thing has opened up. Over to the west. Southwest. Just southwest, not west-southwest. That's a... A slightly different direction, but not enough to really make a difference. I guess I'll eat. Might as well top up my health if I'm passing by Kanrai. Thank you. I would like... Liver sashimi. If you don't mind. Thanks. Thank you. That's a lot of shmoney. Hmm. But now I have 22 thingy. I... I don't know. I don't know. It, it might be the... The translation lying to me again. 
Oh, I didn't switch from Lucha, but I guess it's fine. We still have a lot to see with Lucha. We might have things. Uh, I don't know. We've got plenty of time. Ooh, nice. Oh, cool. But yeah, we got plenty of time to fuck with all these styles. Yeah! Oh, let's go! Lucha rocks. Holy shit! Oh, fuck yeah. I really like Lucha. Woo! Good stuff. Thank you for the XP. That was, it was worth not switching. I got to see something cool. Uh, right, yes. Just over to the west. Go west, young man. Don't get stuck on ballards while you're at it, yeah? Yeah, we'll probably just do a bit more. See what we get ourselves into. And then call it for today. Ooh, three men! Uh, yo, I, I managed to remember to switch styles. Uh, yeah, give me Weapon Mania. Weapon Attack, Power, Heat, Charge, Speed. Not one I'm super excited about. But if there's any weapons, I'll, I'll grab them. Kind of like better street fighting. I assume this was made, like, combining, probably wrestling with street fighting, whatever it was. Weapons. Oh, fuck. I can't even keep the thing. Yeah, I think that's even the Street Fighter... Uh, these are a lot of Street Fighter moves, actually. I think the regular move set might be a bit different. Oh, you got it. Fuck it. Mine. There you go. Weapon damage. Give me it. Yeah, having to go run, a run around looking for weapons isn't super great. At least there always is a weapon. That's not something you'd be guaranteed, usually. Oh, I should see what the heat move is, actually. Well, what the red heat move is. Oh, God. Oh, I think that's new. Yeah. That's pretty sick. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. Ooh, toughness is easy. Yeah. Uh, replace some of my trash with that and actually keep it. Thanks. Hell yeah. Right, what's going on over here, hey? Hmm? Dodging fanatic, also, apparently. Cool. I'm a fanatic about many things, it turns out. Oh, someone at Meb? It's a Meb employee! Ah, I'm so weak. Hey, what's up? Sir, I wouldn't go in there right now. What's wrong with Meb? Huh? The hell's going on in there? Hmm. Trouble in Meb? Heh. <laughs> You take money from your customers? You must be per paid pretty well, too. Looking at a photo? What, are you, what is this woman doing? I'm such a coward. We can't have a girl hanging around in here forever. No. I mean, it is the Men's Entertainment Bureau, whatever it's called. Booth, I don't know. But still, you know, maybe you know, there are going to be women interested in the things you have here. That's fine. We should allow that. Can't wait till she leaves. Fuck off. Let her be. Let her be. This club looks fancy. This one looks even more luxurious. Like, she's making use of the facilities. There are people in here. But there's a guy right there, and he doesn't seem bothered by it. Why is a woman coming to a place like this? Women that like women? What the heck? <laughs> I've been looking for you for ages. Didn't expect to find you here. Oh? Huh? It was a waste of time to run away. I never thought you'd find me here. Please, get away from me. Look at look how thin her elbow is. Look at her arm. Oh, some of the models are so fucked up in this game. Oh, you could snap it like a twig. <laughs> Let's get you back to the office. I don't want to. You there, please help me. Huh? She wants me to help. Skinwalker. Yeah, she's breaking out of her, her flesh suit. Yes, I'll help. Hey, I don't think forcing her is a good idea. Huh? Who the fuck are you? Stay out of this. Even when you quit school and left home, I still followed you when you came to Camarocho. Oh, she's some kind of idol or something. But, but... You can go and make some money for me. Then we can forget this big embarrassment. That's how much I love you. You know that, don't you? Ugh. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> huh? What did you say? I said, shut the fuck up. You disgusting piece of shit. Yeah. I love Tatsuya. Huh? Let's go. Let's go. Uh. 
No, I'm, I'm good. I, I'll, I'll, I'll power level weapon mania, I think, because I don't much care for it. Uh, let's do some go godlike again. Yeah, I want to do godlike. Embrace the godlike. Oh, we took it outside. I want to fight in the meb. But the meb doesn't deserve that. Oh my god, he's dead. Oh, shit. Ooh. Still so haven't seen any of the heat moves for this style, I don't think. He's nearly dead. Oh, I got oh, I, the heat gain. Fuck, I could have done it. Oh, well. We'll get there. We'll get there. Oh, no XP. <laughs> Fuck. Ah, uh, the good old substory XP. My favorite. Ah, uh, sorry. Yeah, get out of here, you. <laughs> Thank you for helping me. I'm Ikumi. Ikumi? I've heard that name before. Have we? Maybe, maybe just he has? Can I take you on a date? Huh? What do you want about? Go find someone else. I won't help again if those guys come back. <laughs> it's okay. I know you'll protect me again if they come back. The hell? I ain't your bodyguard, lady. Besides, you heard what he said. I don't have a home to go back to. My mom and dad don't care. They're happy that I'm gone. Oh, no. Not, not even, like, daddy issues. Like, both parent issues. He's got the full set. Scary. You... Oh, I'm sorry for complaining so much to you after you helped me out. I'll get going soon. Thanks, Black Jersey Coon. Next time I see you in town, we'll go on a date, okay? Mm, uh, uh, she's freaky. Don't get so close to the camera. Uh, she doesn't walk like a human being. She really is a skinwalker. Huh? She's already gone. She blended into the trees. Yakumi, huh? She jumped up to a rooftop. The reporter who was stalking me. Isn't that the name he used? Oh. What, when was that? I, that's not the guy who... Oh, wait, no, it is. Yes, the, the photographer. Yeah, the guy who took the picture of us. He was looking for Akumi. That's right. I forgot that wasn't resolved. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. That's it. Well, I don't give a shit anyway. Yeah, regardless, I don't care. Uh, And yeah, no, nothing opened up. Oh, we do have another interview to do. That's right. Knew there was something I was forgetting. We just have to go pick it up. If we can do that. You're a fight. Hello. I'm not ready to die. Street fighting level three. I was street fighting level three once. Then I learned the way of the god leg. Oh my god. The god leg. <laughs> Looking forward to the rest of the styles. These are like the most basic extremes. And I guess probably the most offensive ones as well. I assume there's going to be one for grab, too. But I assume we're going to have, like, health and evasion and catching uh, centric extremes as well. Yeah, we'll probably, yeah, we'll do this thing. We'll do this interview, and then we'll call it, and then we can do the same as we did today. Or, well, no, we started with sub-stories today, didn't we? I, I think we did. But, you know, pick up with the story next time. Uh, oh, yeah, right. I forgot we have to hand these in. You defeat Okamura the Undefeated? You're the first one. Well, I would hope so. Unprecedented scoop. Yep. Yeah. Money. But who knows if that amount of money is actually accurate. I don't know. Thank you. I will keep up the good work. Alright. So our next guy is this guy. Pro Wrestling on Showa Street. Former pro wrestler devoted to the wrestling fans worldwide. It's rumored that he's secretly trying to make a comeback. Okay. Mr. Wrestling. John Wrestling. If you don't use the same style, yeah, yeah. Mr. Wrestling. He should be on Showa Street in his style as pro wrestling. Well, good luck. Let me know when you're done with your interview. Uh, okay, I will do that. Let me just remember to switch. Because otherwise I'll forget if I leave it for like a single second. I will forget. But yeah, we'll... Yeah, the stuff that requires pro wrestling to be level 5 as well. So that needs to be done. That might get us another extreme. Maybe. I, I forgot the list already. I'm so used to spoiling myself on stuff for streams that I've developed the ability to forget it all immediately. Yeah, that's what it is. So, down in the middle of Showa Street, so we'll go this way then. Oh, hello. 
Yeah, any XP you're willing to give, I'll take it. Buddy. I was ready this time. Fuck. And yes, we're on pro wrestling. I thought I was on leg again. See, I forgot. I have that power to simply forget. Yeah, we want to be grabbing. Yeah, we want to be grabbing. Oh! Kill him with the ground pound. XP? XP? No. All right. Still good. Good payout, though. All right, off we go. We're still a few fights away from getting to this guy. Oh, well. Come on, come on, come on. Ah, no, I will skip you. Oh, but there's a card in there. I want the card. Yeah, give me that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And another XP. So I might may I may have completed a set. Or maybe even two sets, potentially. But I don't th that, like all these card guys individually have not given us XP. Just been those last two. I'm assuming they, they populate Oh fuck. They populate as uh as we progress through the story, like sub stories. That might not have been possible to complete a set until, you know, later into the game. There we go. Give him one of these. <laughs> yeah. Ah, oh, some of these styles are so good. Ooh, XP. XP! Thank you. That's it. Closing in on level 26. Reminder that level 30 is the max level in new game. So we're, we're, we're close to max now. I've definitely been doing things uh, pretty efficiently. We will, we're going to be end game ready real soon. And yeah, hopefully next time. Yeah, almost certainly next time. Oh, oh, that girl. Right, we can do that too. I guess since she's finally messaged. It was a, a while. You know, usually if there's like, oh, just go and I'll contact you later type sub stories. They usually continue pretty much immediately, but they actually had us wait for this girl. Cool. But I got a message. Sorry about the other day. A friend called all of a sudden and I couldn't say no. I went home and looked at my yearbook, then saw your face. You looked so scary. I remembered a few things from back then. Hey, want to go on a date? I'll wait for you in front of the Millennium Tower. Okay, I guess we'll end with that then. Weird ass girl. She didn't even ask what works for me. What a selfish woman. What should I do now? You could just stick her up. You didn't agree to go. You'd be well within your rights, but she'd probably get pissy with you. I wouldn't be surprised. Hey, buddy. Mr. Pro Wrestler. Hey, you must be Mr. Wrestling, right? We're going to have an interview. Fight me so I can learn about your style. Imagine being a wrestler and your name in the ring is Mr. Wrestling. You've got to be good, right? To, to be able to claim that name and hold on to it. I mean, he's out of the game right now and he's trying to make a comeback. So maybe he wasn't that good. But he kept the name. You're a wrestler? You're talking my language. Huh? <laughs> I'm clumsy at expressing myself through words, so I do it through my wrestling. Wrestling is my life. Life. What does life? Now it's, now it's time for you to experience it. Level 18. Wow. Yeah, these fights are, are some of the beefiest. It's still weird that the first one, the street fighting guy, was level 10. And then the one, I think the one after that was level 8. Got easier after the first one. And now it's starting getting harder again. I dodged that, but he it whiffed. No. No! Well, yeah. Fair enough. If anyone's going to be able to do good grabs like that, then it's a pro wrestler. Uh oh We're both gaining heat. He's winning. Oh! We both went Super Saiyan at the same time. That was sick, actually. Oh, God. Oh, fuck! He's roasting me, but I, I don't even mind because it's cool. Yeah, I'll do it to you too. Fuck off. God damn it. So it's so evasive that move. Oh no. Oh, that's cool. I haven't I haven't seen I haven't seen a lot of the catch moves on oh, oh fuck. On all sorts of styles. Uh I should heal. Yeah. Just in case. He seems to be doing a fair chunk of damage. Oh, we both jumped. 
Oh, I thought that was an attack. Tried to dodge it. He wants to grab, and fair enough. There you go. Enjoy this concrete. Or asphalt, I guess. Nice that you can dodge grabs. Ah. No, I grab you. Uh-oh. Where'd you get that heat from, huh? Where'd you get that heat from? Oh, no. It worked out, but I didn't mean to do that. Cool spin move. Maybe we'll get that when we level. Oh, there we go. Nice. Hoping I might get back up to red, but oh well. XP, please. Oh, close to a level. Oh, loads of XP. Lovely. Thanks much. Hey, you're not bad, kid. Here, I'll teach you this. Super high kick. Ooh. I teach you how to master it, but I've got a bad back. Go to a dojo and figure the rest out for yourself. Mm. Well then, good luck. Viva Wrestling. When it, well, I, 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 I'd save it for the lucha guy to say that, but whatever. This guy's a dumbass. Anyway, bye. All right. Oh, level up. I don't know if I've leveled up outside of, like, a fight end screen before. Level 26! Outrageous. Outrageous. All right, time to go on a date, then, and grab this cat while I'm on the way, I suppose. Is that the last one? No, there's, uh, there's one up ahead as well, so we'll get that one, but there's one over on the west. No, I'm good, thank you. I'm good, thank you. I'm just here for a cat. Oh, and a cardman over there. Yeah. There you go. Thank you. Hey, Cardman. Oh, no. Hey, Cardman. Cardman, give me the full set. I'm amazed I avoided that guy. Hmm. Yep, no XP. See? Oh, come on. I thought I got a random. Yeah, I'll, I'll keep going with pro wrestling. We do need to level it. Oh, we're grappling. You're grappling with a pro wrestler, buddy. You don't know what you've got yourself into. Hey, there's a tie. But he didn't get any heat. I did. Yeah, some of these moves on this moveset are really slick. Like, the... I think the... Yeah, the down kicks are pretty cool. It's the down attacks in general. Pretty good. Oh, you're nearly dead, eh? Let me fi finish you off as only a wrestler can. There you go. Plant them in the ground, see what grows. Thank you. Okay, back this way. We're getting on Northern Cat, and we're going on a date. It's going to be great, or it's going to be terrible. <laughs> Nothing in between, though. I can guarantee it will be a uh, an experience of extremes. Because I got extreme styles. Huh? Oh, fuck. All right. Fair enough. He was he was moving real quick. We weren't getting away from that. No chance. All right, buddy. There you go. Lovely. Oh god. We're fine. I'm getting better with my dodges. See, I improve with with practice. It's playing this once a week. There you go. Bam. Thank you. Yeah, we're closing in on more wrestling power. Uh, cat? Nyan? Nyan! There we go, so just one more for 70. And now we can go on our date. Uh, yes, left from here, because this is the drugstore. Nope, I'm ignoring you. I've got a hot date. Or maybe a cold date, I don't know. Anything could happen. It's been a while since we had to go to the Millennium Tower for something, though. It's nice. Oh, there's a cardman. Hold on. I, oh, I wanted to talk to him first. Fuck. Ah, Tatsuya-kun. You're here. No, my cardman. He's right there. He's transparent. I'm so happy that you could make it. Hey, don't be so touchy. It's okay, baby. This is our first date, after all. That's why you shouldn't be so, so touchy, goddammit. Women these days. I'm hungry. Let's go to Smile Burger. Sh sure. 
such a pushover when it comes to women. We're going to get teleported. Fuck. Oh, well. I don't care about the cards. That was delicious. Tatsuya, hold my hand. Where are you taking me next? Huh? I'm not your boyfriend or something. Does she want us to pose as a boyfriend for some reason? We've done that a few times before. So why don't you become my boyfriend now? The hell? I've always been into you, Tetsuya-kun. Ever since high school. Are you dating anyone right now? If not, then why not me? I barely know you. So, where did you want to go? How about a hotel? It's the first date! Harlot! Who are you saying? Oh no. Oh no! Uh, I mean, I'll look, I'll look, I'll look at the guide, but I, I, we, surely, surely, right? We've got to, we've got to try. Which one actually is it? Not Kingdom Come, Mars Fighters, no. Wrestling Guy, Hittens, which one is it? Uh, hmm. Oh, okay. So another one of those refund things has popped up. They are sub stories. They don't appear on the map. But if we do a if we do a shift at Smileberg, we'll we'll get another one of those. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. Uh, which one is it? Is it Let's Meet Again? Uh. Yes. Oh. Oh no! It wasn't a time thing for the email. It's when you arrive at a specific place not marked on the map, slightly west of Don Quixote. Oh, it's a good thing I actually I ended up there at all. Exactly. Hua. She's a hua. Uh, let's see. Pick the first option to say yes. You'll pick, you'll miss out on some XP if you don't. Oh yeah, we'll miss out on an experience, all right? That's a good idea. Yeah, we can really get to know each other. Tatsuya. Tatsuya's a hua. Tatsuya could. You could be a bit more romantic about it, but. It still makes me happy. Tonight, you. No, tonight we'll go all the way. Damn. My boy's not going to get laid, is he? He's 17. Hey, Tatsuya-kun. Hmm? Please, get out of here now. Okay, okay, there's something. Huh? What are you talking about? You're the one that asked me and now you're getting cold feet? Going to get credit card scammed. He is. He's going to have all his shit stolen. He's going to wake up tied to the bed. I'll explain later, please. Ah. Uh, host looking man. Hey, you got some balls, bro. Huh? The fuck are you? What do you want from me? You were trying to fuck my girl. You think you're going to get away with that without paying, huh? Ah, it's one of these kinds of scams. Got it. Your girl. Miyuki, you know this guy? Hmm. <laughs> you get it now? If you don't want to get hurt, back the fuck out of here. I'm feeling nice today, so I'll only charge you 500,000 yen. If you don't have enough, I know a good money lender. I, uh, I'll go I'll go find Akiyama. The fuck are you talking about? I ain't paying that. Huh? You won't pay? You'd rather pay that much at the hospital after I break every bone in your body? That's not going to happen. You're a host looking man. Oh, you've got friends, but you're still a chump. <laughs> we'll show you. Okay, level 14s. I'm more than 10 levels ahead of you, bro. You don't know what you're getting into. Mm -hmm. Immediately start pressing button. Just kill them before they're even ready. Send them. That man is dead. Man will soon be dead. He's not yet dead. I don't think we're going to get to Red Heat in this fight. But whatever. We're not going to get good XP from this, regardless. There you go. Bash your head into the back of this truck. Why don't you? Yeah, it's garbage. It's 90. That's like one low-level guy. And I fought three medium-level guys. Ugh! Shu-chan, are you okay? Stay with me. Hey, you've been trying to trick me from the start, Miyuki. 
You always wanted to mess with me. It's not like that. I have lured a number of guys over here to the hotel district. I really didn't want to do it, though. I just didn't want him to hate me. I was afraid he'd leave me. You should leave him. He's a bum. I saw you on the street, and I was hoping that you could help me out, Tatsuya-kun. You should have said something earlier, then. You think I'm an idiot? Huh? If you didn't want to do it, then you shouldn't have just- You should have just told me. Exactly. Don't just take advantage of me. B but if Shu-chan dumps me and you're not in my life, what will I even do? Stop whining. Not everything's someone else's fault. Don't leave your life in other people's hands. Be strong and live how you want to live your life. Man, Kiryu should hear this, like, before Yakuza 5 happens. Sorry, I... I... If you can get that far, let me know and I'll help you. He really is sounding like Kiryu. Thank you, Tetsuya-kun. I don't know if I can do it, but I'll try my hardest. If we meet again someday, then can we talk about old times properly? Sure, I'll be waiting for you. Goodbye, Shu-chan. Bye-bye, Tetsuya-kun. Why is he so cool? That was one hell of a date. Guess I can't complain about being bored. Yeah. Okay. So... Yeah, I guess we'll hand that thing in. Uh, yeah, I'll hand, I'll hand in that thing at Theatre Square and we'll leave it. I know we could do the Smile Burger thing. But fuck it, we, it's just past five hours. Uh, we'll it, leave it at a nice round number. And I can go rest. I.e. play some video game before bed, probably. No, fuck off you. I'm here for my rewards. And there's a save right here. Perfect. There you go. You defeated Mr. Wrestling? This is, yeah, it's unprecedented. All of your scoops are unprecedented. God damn it. I mean, I guess that makes them a good journalist. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Yep. So how many left? One, two, three. Okay. Okay. So it's going to be the two advanced styles we unlocked and jujitsu, probably. Oh, MMA as well. We don't have MMA. Uh, wait, is that? No, no. Jujitsu is the only basic one. So one of these is going to be jujitsu. One of them will probably be MMA. And one of them will be Lucha, because we haven't had Lucha yet. And then the extreme styles aren't included. Got it. Yeah, yeah. Get out of my face. Thank you, buddy. All right, let's go save. And then we can call it. There we go. Save. Very, very strong progress today. And our first extremes. Oh, I'm excited to get to extreme being. That's going to be good. It's going to be real good. I got a lot of money, too. Still probably should farm out some more, but I'll probably do my, my XP farming first. So what do we got to do? We gotta... Yeah, we gotta max out pro wrestling. That won't take too much time. Then do Lucha and Weapon Mania and then the uh, the extreme styles. I think that's my order of priority as well. We might get other extremes from doing that. I hope. But yes, very exciting. Okay, that's what we'll call it for today. Uh, thank you very much for hanging out. It's been it's been a good one, like I say. Good progress. Uh, what are we doing? Uh, yeah, more God of War on Friday. Uh, we'll, yeah, we're going to finish the crater. Probably 100% at the rate we're moving. And with how much I've been just thoroughly exploring that place. Um, and Terraria with the boys on Saturday, as ever. And Half-Life 2 Episode 2 on Sunday. That's going to be fun. That probably will be done in one go. With how quickly we did episode one. Um, but that'll be fine. I've got I've got a thing or two in mind to mix things up. Uh, but yeah. Uh, until next time. Thanks for coming by. I hope you had a very... Uh, I hope you have a very lovely morning, noon, afternoon. Uh, start over. Morning, noon, afternoon, evening, night. Whatever time of day it may be. Wherever you are. I've got to get that right. I say it every stream. God. But um, yeah. Until next time. I hope you have a very... Uh, no, I said that. No, no. Don't... I, I got caught in a loop. No. But thanks for hanging out. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye.